Just after Long Chen left, space rumbled and more experts arrived. The leader of the ancient races, Long Jun Kang, had arrived with reinforcements from the ancient races. However, he was too late. Considering the speed of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race, there was no way they could catch up. Pen Wanli was ashen with rage. He had never suffered something so frustrating in all his life. Right in front of him, his resources were stolen. Should we attack them? Asked Long Jun Kang. The ancient races always let the Xuan beasts take the lead. Moreover, the relationship between the two races had grown closer thanks to Long Chen. The Xuan beasts had officially recognized the ancient races. However, they had yet to let them join them. Let Long Chen be arrogant for a while. Just relying on the two of us, we can't fight against the Martial Heaven Alliance. This is clearly the Martial Heaven Alliance causing trouble. The Brahma Secret Realm is about to open. So they're trying to make a counterplay, said Pen Wanli. If Ku Jin Ying was present, she would definitely sneer at them. This matter had nothing to do with the Martial Heaven Alliance. It had entirely been Long Chen's idea. The brains of the Xuan beasts were truly lacking. Go back and prepare all the elite disciples for the Brahma Secret Realm. Pill Valley is finally willing to pay such a price. We can't stand on courtesy. As for Long Chen, let him be. After all, the Martial Heaven Alliance does not have the inheritance of a god. After the Brahma Secret Realm, all our disciples will have grown stronger. While they'll still be stuck, the difference will gradually grow. Long Chen is a madman that no one wants to provoke. If we go all out against him by ourselves, the others will just laugh at us. Heavenly Fate Island is the best example. The Martial Heaven Alliance can't do anything about Pill Valley's Brahma Secret Realm. So they're just sending Long Chen to mess up our plans. We won't let them achieve their goals. We will make sure to repay our losses and humiliation today a hundred times, said Peng Wanli. Then about the Peng Emperor's altar said Long Jun Kang hesitatingly. Once the Brahma Secret Realm is over, the ceremony will begin. You can send a hundred elites from your side. As for whether or not they can accept the Peng Emperor's blessing, it will be up to their luck, said Peng Wanli. Many thanks. Long Jun Kang was delighted to hear this. The Peng Emperor had been the supreme expert of the Xuan beasts. He had been one of the only existences in this world capable of challenging the sovereigns. In history, only three such emperors had appeared, and one was from the Xuan beasts Kunpeng race. Once the Peng Emperor's sacrificial ceremony is over, the Xuan beasts will rise. The Martial Heaven continent will be ours to rule. Remember, don't trust the human race at any time, said Peng Wanli. Understood. Long Chen brought the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race back to their territory in high spirits. They were all delighted. They had managed to vent some of their anger. Long Chen had openly taken Peng Wanli's resources, and Peng Wanli hadn't even dared to do anything. He had just watched them leave. Remembering his furious expression, they all felt refreshed. Big Brother Long Chen is amazing. That Peng Wanli didn't even dare to attack us, exclaimed Cloud excitedly. He truly didn't dare to attack because we are now strong enough that he has to be restrained in front of us. Without enough time, he can't possibly gather enough experts to attack us. If he had really wanted to fight, it wouldn't have just been a fight between us. The entire Martial Heaven Alliance would join in. Yu Ziaoyan is currently in a weaker position, so he won't fight during this period. Both sides taking heavy losses is not what he wants. Although Peng Wanli is stupid, he can see this point, or he wouldn't be fit to lead the Xuan beasts. No matter how angry he was, he had to endure it. As for us, we had to do this to restore our prestige. This is an important day to the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race. Considering how the Xuan beasts have humiliated us, today was just some interest. As for the real debt, we'll settle it later, said Long Chen. Cloud was extremely grateful. She knew that he was only getting involved in this matter because of her. He even treated the entire cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race as his family. Considering the speed of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race, they quickly returned. When Ku Jin Ying and the others saw the pile of resources they had brought back, they were stunned. You. Ah. We robbed Kof. Ah. We went to accept their gift. Guo Ran immediately switched words upon being glared at by Long Chen. 
When Pu Jianying and the others learned that Long Chen had gone to the Xuan Beast's headquarters and stolen the materials they had prepared for their reconstruction, they were shocked. They had originally thought that he would just cause some fuss throughout the Xuan Beast's territory in the eastern Xuan region. He might destroy a few buildings and strongholds as a show of might. Once they won back some face, that would be enough. However, he had personally gone to their home and stolen their things right in front of Pen Wanli. The Xuan Beasts hadn't even dared to do anything. This was their first time feeling a trace of sympathy for Pen Wanli. Considering Pen Wanli's unreasonable and tyrannical nature, he had probably never suffered like this in all his life. It was unknown if he would directly die from his rage. This move shook the very continent. The cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race was forcibly rising. Another terrifying faction had appeared on the continent, and they were solid allies with Long Chen. The entire continent's board changed because of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race's domineering return. Originally, Long Chen had just been planning on setting up a simple headquarters for the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race, making it so that they could share a portion of the spirit-gathering formations of the various sects. However, with the gift the Xuan beasts had given them, they directly built their own spirit-gathering formations, transportation formations, and a grand protective formation. Moreover, there were plenty of workers. The Martial Heaven Alliance had never lacked manpower. With so many materials, it would only take a month for the construction to be completed. The spirit gathering formations would only need half a month before they could be used. Cultivating with spirit gathering formations meant that the world's dense spiritual chi would pour into their bodies. This kind of blessing was unimaginable for the old cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race. Meng Chi was also sharing the myriad spirit diagram with the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race, allowing them to rediscover their lost divine abilities. Each day, they got stronger. This filled them with confidence. After arranging this, Long Chen had the Dragon Blood Legion temporarily stay here. After all, the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race had yet to fully recover and needed some protection. During this time, Long Chen encountered one difficulty. After advancing to the first heaven stage of Life Star, his cultivation base hadn't improved in the slightest. He would need 11th rank medicinal pills to advance any further. However, there were no 11th rank medicinal pills in his pill god memories. The pills that he had stolen also only reached the 10th tier. He had never seen an 11th rank medicinal pill. Could it be that the 10th tier was the limit? If that was the case, he was doomed. Others might be fine cultivating without medicinal pills, but he couldn't. The 9-star hegemon body arts cultivation speed was already slow from the start, but now that he was in the life star realm, he had 108,000 astral spaces, and any advancement would be extremely difficult. If he cultivated according to normal standards, he didn't even know how many centuries it would take him to reach the second heaven stage. By that time, it would be too late. Long Chen bitterly racked his brain, but he was unable to find any memories relating to 11th tier medicinal pills. Helplessly, he could only go find Zheng Wenlong. Zheng Wenlong told him that an 11th tier medicinal pill had never publicly appeared in this world. However, that didn't represent that they didn't exist. Zheng Wenlong secretly told him that it was rumored that Pill Valley had 11th tier medicinal pills. However, it was just a guess. They had never personally seen any, so they couldn't be sure. Zheng Wenlong couldn't know Pill Valley's top secrets, so what he was saying was only what he had heard from his higher-ups. But there was no proof. This news was of no help to Long Chen. Even if Pill Valley had formulas capable of refining 11th tier medicinal pills, they were top secret. They were very likely only known by a handful of people. To obtain them wasn't possible. Helplessly, Long Chen could only cultivate within the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow races spirit gathering formations. He activated his divine ring, absorbing as much spiritual chi as he could. After 10 days, he felt like his astral spaces might have grown a bit larger, but he didn't feel anything concrete. This speed was too slow. Clearly, this kind of cultivation was no good for him. The nine-star hegemon body art was not cultivated like this. He had to rely on medicinal pills. On this day, Long Chen left with Wild. 
He brought Wild to the skyscraping world, having the original Devil Race's people look after him. They needed to have someone go hunting with him so that he didn't get lost. He then left on his own. Long Chen had been hoping to spend a few days with Yu Ziaokian, but she was already in seclusion. Yu Ziaokian had reached the final stages of the profound spirit Daoist scripture. She was just one step from mastering it. That profound spirit Daoist scripture had been a priceless treasure found within the Yun Yang world. Once she mastered it, she would be able to perfectly disguise herself and freely walk throughout the martial heaven continent. Time passed one day at a time, and undercurrents were flowing throughout the continent. The various large powers were gathering their geniuses and sending them to Pill Valley. The Brahma secret realm was about to open. The martial heaven continent had a long history and countless inheritances. It had given rise to countless experts in the past. In the immortal era, even gods had appeared. The majority of experts liked to leave some of their inheritances behind for destined people to carry on their legacies. Some supreme experts left behind their astral spaces, turning them into minor worlds. Those minor worlds were attached to the martial heaven continent. As long as you could find the entrance, you could enter. However, after so many years, many minor worlds were in ruins. Some had fractured and vanished. Practically, every sect on the continent had its own inheritance land. Some seniors had left behind their astral spaces and they were kept in order by their descendants. They were precious legacies. Other than those spaces with masters, there were some spaces without masters. Some of those spaces were too big and as the martial heaven continent moved, they clashed with its laws, resulting in their destruction. Some of those spaces were able to resist that clash and ended up being drawn into cracks within the world. Some formed a strange resonance. There were also some like the Yun Yang world and Devil Spirit Mountain. Most likely, a minor world had formed a resonance while in contact with both the martial heaven continent and those foreign worlds. Those two minor worlds had been compressed by both worlds resulting in them being crushed and forming spatial channels connecting the worlds. If it wasn't for the sovereign blood seal suppressing those channels, the devil race and the blood race would have long since charged onto the continent. There were layers of space throughout this world. Perhaps they weren't visible, but they existed. Some ancient sects looked like they had been destroyed, but recently, more and more mysterious sects were reappearing. Some of those sects had been gone for so many years that people hadn't even heard of them. However, when people looked through historical records, they found that they were terrifying sects that had been incredible existences thousands of years ago. Now that the Great Era was descending, they were coming out from their minor worlds to restore themselves to their former glory. Geniuses were currently gathering at Pill Valley. They were there to enter the Brahma secret realm. Long Chen sat at Apatal Mountain watching those geniuses flying over his head. It was unknown what he was thinking. Are you planning something evil again? Asked Devil Moon. It was truly starting to understand Long Chen. I have to think of a way to enter the Brahma secret realm. Do you have a method? Asked Long Chen. In theory, if you could accurately pinpoint the spatial node, with my current power, perhaps we can break through space and enter. I'm talking about in reality. Interrupted Long Chen. Fine. In reality, there's no chance you can find the spatial node. It's Pill Valley's top secret. Outsiders can't possibly learn it, said Evil Moon. So you can't do it. What do you mean? I can't do it, snorted Evil Moon angrily. You're the one who doesn't even know the spatial node's location. It's like you're asking me to kill someone but you don't even know where they are. The so-called spatial node was where the minor world connected with the martial heaven continent. As long as Evil Moon could reach that spot, it might be able to tear through space to enter it. If you don't want to die, then get out of my way. Just at this moment, a coarse and tyrannical voice rang out from the distance. Long Chen turned to see a golden horned bull pulling an ancient carriage through the sky. That bull was actually a 12th rank magical beast. Quite a few experts were flying through this region, and some of them came from the same sect when they saw that bull. They hastily evaded it. However, unexpectedly, the bull was too fast, and even though they avoided its body, they weren't able to avoid the astral winds that roared off of it. They were blown back miserably. Some of them even coughed up blood. That bull was advancing at full power. 
Its master was clearly doing this on purpose. Courting death, those experts were enraged, and they took out their weapons. Divine light lit up as they attacked the carriage, wanting to teach the person inside a lesson. Boom. Ripples spread along the carriage. It actually had a powerful barrier that blocked their attacks. Courting death, a furious shout rang out from within, and the carriage came to a stop. A large man came out. He had bushy eyebrows, a beard, and a mustache. He smacked a rod that he had at those people. A dragon's cry actually rang out, causing Long Chen to jump. That fellow actually possessed a trace of dragon blood. This fellow's dragon blood isn't pure. You see that rune on his forehead? It should be the mark of the barbarian dragon race. The barbarian dragon race only possesses brute power but no divine abilities. They're a group of brainless fellows, explained Evil Moon. Boom. The large man's rod caused space to explode and sent those disciples tumbling back, coughing up blood. With just this one attack, even a dozen genius life star disciples were unable to endure. None of them had used their full power. But that man also hadn't summoned his manifestation Noveloon.com you. You're the barbarian dragon palace's man Bation. Someone cried out in shock. Since you know who I am, you can scram. Snorted man Bation. Man Bation? Long Chen felt like he had heard that name. He racked his brain and suddenly slapped his leg. He remembered. Yi Lingxin had mentioned this person to him. He had once pursued Chi Feng Su but was refused. Then he had pursued Yi Lingxin, but she had ignored him. Back then, he had sworn that when he awakened his barbarian blood manifestation, he would marry both of them. Countless people had sneered at him for that. Later on, he had vanished. People all thought that it had been a farce. But recently, he had reappeared and defeated consecutive geniuses without suffering a single defeat. Furthermore, his sect, the Barbarian Dragon Palace, also surfaced. When someone investigated their history, they were stunned. The Barbarian Dragon Palace had been famous many years ago. Its experts had the inheritance of the Barbarian Dragons. They were immensely powerful. It was said that back when true immortal Jayaoki was alive, the two of them had clashed. No one knew the final result. But since the two of them were still alive, outsiders guessed that they might be equally matched. Although Man Bation had only recently come out, his fame was growing rapidly. He was a tyrannical existence amongst the neutral powers. Other than that, due to his bloodline, he was very unreasonable and would kill people as soon as they displeased him. He was famous and infamous. Those people were startled when they heard that name. A hint of fear appeared in their eyes. They cursed their bad luck at encountering such a garbage person. Either fight or fuck off, snorted Man Bation, pointing his rod at those disciples. He spoke to them like they were ants. Man Bation, don't go too far, raged one disciple. A warrior could be killed but not humiliated. This person went too far. It was clearly his carriage that had smashed into them, and now he even shouted at them to scram. Die. That disciple had just shouted when Man Bation turned toward him, smashing his rod. That rod compressed space, sealing the disciple's movements. The disciple was shocked to find that he couldn't move. Just like that, the disciple exploded along with his weapon. The others were startled and infuriated. This man Bation was as unreasonable and tyrannical as the story said. Since you don't scram, you can die. Seeing those disciples panicking, man Bation laughed. His bull's two golden horns suddenly began to shine. A wave of divine light shot out of the horns, striking the disciples like a mountain. Those disciples summoned their manifestations. But despite going all out, they were heavily injured. Two of them had their bodies explode, and they fled with only their Yuan spirits. Those disciples instantly vanished from sight as they fled. Man Bation laughed as if bullying them had been delightful. Brother, help me out. Just at this moment, a hand clapped onto his shoulder. Man Bation jumped in shock. He turned back, but before he could even see who was behind him, a hand slapped his face. He seemed to hear the sounds of bones breaking and then lost consciousness. Long Chen carried Man Bation to the carriage and then glanced at the bull indifferently. As soon as Long Chen looked at it, it stiffened, all its previous majestic air vanishing. If you don't want to become steak, you'll listen obediently, said Long Chen. He dragged the unconscious Man Bation into the carriage. Upon entering, 
he saw that it was very luxurious. The floor was actually padded with the fur of a 12th rank magical beast, and there were over 10 female cultivators on a wooden bed, not an inch of thread on their bodies. They stared in shock at Long Chen, senior apprentice brother Long Chen. One of those women recognized Long Chen, then realizing that she wasn't wearing anything, she blushed, covering herself up. Long Chen hastily left the carriage, taking out a spatial ring and tossing it inside. He told them to put on clothes first. Through their explanation, he learned that they came from various sects. They had been captured by Man Bation. When they had refused his advances, he had captured them in his anger. Fortunately, they had run into Long Chen before Man Bation could do anything further to them. Sorry, Long Chen reached out and patted each woman on the back of their head. They instantly fell unconscious. His spiritual strength entered their minds. Erasing their memories of Man Bation and seeing him here. They were also geniuses who were going to attend the Brahma secret realm. So he had to do this. After erasing their memories, he placed them in different locations. That way, they could act like nothing had happened. As for Man Bation, Long Chen hadn't been planning on killing him. But after seeing those women, he had directly done a soul sark and learned just how many wicked things he had done. After that, Long Chen directly killed him. He began to change his appearance, dressing himself up as Man Bation. After confirming that there were no mistakes, a blaze of flames turned Man Bation into ashes. Haha, <laughs> if you don't want to die, then get out of the way. I, Man Bation, am coming. Long Chen suddenly cleared his throat and laughed, sending the carriage flying straight toward Pill Valley. Out of the way, out of the way. Are you blind? Long Chen sent the carriage barreling through the air in a domineering fashion, forcing aside the other experts. They angrily cursed him, but then Long Chen also got angry, cursing back. Are you looking to die? Who dares to block the path of Man Bation? Come out and I'll make sure your deaths are quick. When those disciples heard that name, their hearts shook. Although Man Bation's fame wasn't too great at this point, quite a few people had heard it. He was a vicious character and completely unreasonable. He would kill people at the slightest anger. Hence, they had no desire to draw his ire. Those people didn't say a word, simply allowing Long Chen's carriage to pass by. Only once he was gone did they start cursing him. Fuck, this feeling really is nice. Long Chen laughed. Although these people weren't all his enemies, they definitely couldn't be counted as friends. However, it seems that people like him don't live too long. Long Chen rubbed the rod in his hand. This had been Man Bation's divine item. It had actually been refined from a barbarian dragon's horn and could be activated with the strength of dragon blood. If someone else obtained it, they wouldn't be able to use it. However, Long Chen possessed Azure Dragon Essence blood, and the barbarian dragon wasn't worth anything in front of the Azure Dragon. He, I didn't think things would go so smoothly. So even the heavens are blind sometimes. Long Chen had a tablet on his waist. It had Pill Valley's mark. And this mark had blood runes within it. Through a soul sark. Long Chen learned that this tablet was a way for Pill Valley to avoid others entering the Brahma secret realm. People were given two tablets. One was given back to Pill Valley after being bound with blood. Upon arriving at Pill Valley. They would check the tablets to see that their blood matched. For someone else. Wanting to sneak in like this would be courting death. But when Long Chen had slain Man Bation, he had Evil Moon extract a portion of Man Bation's essence blood and soul. That way, even when he was examined, he could pass through easily. It seemed that things in his life rarely went this smoothly. So Long Chen felt quite refreshed. Of course, part of that was how arrogant he could act as he blasted through the people in his path. On his way. He accidentally killed a few experts from the corrupt path and Xuan beasts by crashing into them. In the face of other people's furious roar, he simply cursed them back and scared them away. However, the thing that surprised him was that on his way, he sensed several powerful auras that were no weaker than Huo Lian and true immortal Jiaoki back when they had been alive. What is going on? How could so many powerful experts have appeared? Long Chen couldn't help frowning. Those experts belonged to various powers, including the ancient races, the corrupt path, the ancient family alliance, and the Xuan beasts. He also sensed a familiar air as he flew, 
It was the heir of the Bloodkill Hall's assassins. Their auras had been memorized by the Nine Star Hegemon body art, and he would sense them as soon as he was close. However, he could only sense their general existence. He couldn't pinpoint their exact location, meaning that the Bloodkill Hall actually had more skillful assassins aside from their three divine emissaries. Or, did this indicate that their Dong Mingyu had come? Fuck. How did so many unknown experts suddenly appear? Did I end up jumping into a den of wolves? The closer he got to Pill Valley, the more people he saw. Many of them were lone travelers with shocking auras. One man had a grand aura. With each step, space twisted and he would reappear hundreds of miles away. It seemed he was currently practicing some kind of cultivation art. There was another person enveloped with divine light, and it was impossible to see his face. Sword light formed a ring behind him. The sword chi around him was oppressive. Just looking at him gave people a stabbing pain. There was also someone like Long Chen being pulled by a 12th rank magical beast while sitting in a carriage. The carriage blocked their aura, but when they looked over, Long Chen felt a sensation of danger. There's no need to be so shocked. Just from Man Bation's memories, you can see that there are still many sects hidden within the Martial Heaven continent. However, they're more low-key and haven't revealed themselves. They've been secretly developing for thousands or even tens of thousands of years. They've avoided having to fight with others, lying in wait precisely for the current great era to come. A world naturally goes through periods of prosperity and decline. Spring goes and winter comes. When the winter comes, life forms hibernate so that they can come back out in spring. The martial heaven continent definitely isn't as simple as what you see. If I hadn't felt that this place looked weak, I also wouldn't have come here, and then I wouldn't have encountered Yun Shang, said Evil Moon hatefully. After killing Evil Moon, Yun Shang had reforged its body and soul into a weapon, resulting in Yun Shang giving it the name of Dragonbone Evil Moon. Being with me will let you make your comeback, guaranteed Long Chen. TCH, you don't even know how you're going to advance any further, if you don't figure out a way. It won't be long before you're crushed. Just seeing your 108,000 astral spaces, I've given up any hope. Your cultivation technique is too monstrous. Evil Moon didn't have any hope for Long Chen. The Nine Star Hegemon body art was too difficult. However, it then suddenly said, Actually, I do have a method for you to rapidly grow stronger without medicinal pills. Really, don't con me. Long Chen was delighted. Perhaps the dark evil dragon race had some divine ability that could help him. It's to eat. You can eat just like wild. Absorbing their energy with swallow the heavens. Devour the earth. You want me to constantly eat magical beasts. Long Chen hesitated. If he couldn't find medicinal pills, then perhaps this was his only choice. No. For you, eating magical beasts is useless then. You want me to eat people. Yes. Swallow the heavens. Devour the Earth was originally a technique for absorbing energy from the same source as the user. After being devoured, it will strip them of their energy and merge that energy with yours. That's the only way for you to absorb the energy of their Yuan spirit, essence blood, and soul stop. That's definitely impossible. Long Chen interrupted Evil Moon. Eating magical beasts was one thing. If he had no other choice, he could accept it. But eating people was definitely unacceptable. You're a hypocrite. What difference is there between killing people and eating people? The evil dragon race relies on eating each other to get stronger and survive. But your human race kills each other not because you need to but simply to satisfy your desires. Although a portion are killed due to crisis or imminent danger, the majority are only killed to satisfy your desire to subdue others. The human race kills many times more of its fellow humans than my evil dragon race eats each other snorted Evil Moon. All right, don't try to talk philosophy with me. I can't accept that condition. As for why, I don't know either. But if you really need a reason, call it instinct. As a human, I will kill to protect my family, but I won't go devouring humans. It's impossible. Long Chen shook his head, not letting Evil Moon continue this topic. Long Chen respected Evil Moon, and he knew it had good intentions. But that wasn't something he could accept. Boom. Just as they were speaking, Long Chen's carriage shook intensely. His golden bull had actually been killed by a single punch from someone. 
Startled, Long Chen looked out to see someone from the Xuan beasts blocking his path. That person's entire body was covered in black fur he also had a rod in his hand, and he pointed it at the carriage. Man Bashan, come out and face your death. The disturbance here drew over many of the surrounding experts. The Xuan beasts Zhang Shianba. Someone let out a startled cry upon recognizing this black furred expert. One of the ancient family alliance's experts said, This Zhang Shianba is the descendant of the Great Earthen Bear King race. Legend is that the Great Earthen Bear race was so powerful in the ancient era that they were given the name of King. Their power is limitless really? Then whose power would be greater? His or true immortal Jiaoki. That ancient family alliance expert didn't know how to reply to that. There was no way to compare. All he knew of the Great Earth and Bear King race's power was limited to historical records. Someone from the ancient races said, if the two of them were to actually fight, they should be equally matched. But in terms of pure power, this Zhang Shianba should have an edge. True immortal Jiaoki relied on the power of his bloodline which can be used up in the end. But Zhang Shianba's power comes from the earth. As long as he is on the ground, his energy will never run out. If he's so powerful, why haven't I ever heard of him? HMPH. Do you think that the great Xuan beasts are like the human race? Announcing themselves to the world as soon as they have the slightest bit of power? They knew how to be Loki that ancient race expert sneer immediately caused quite a few expressions to sink. It had to be known that 90% of the experts here were part of the human race. For someone to openly curse the human race like this, they were enraged. If this wasn't the wrong place for it, they would have killed that idiot. However, of all the experts here, not all of them were afraid of the ancient races and the Xuan beasts. Someone responded, for people like you, the only thing to do is bully you like Long Chen does. Once Long Chen beats all your teeth out, you won't insult the human race every time you open your mouth. This person came from a neutral sect originally. He had no enmity with the Xuan beasts or the ancient races. However, this person's mouth was just too hateful to suck up to the Xuan beasts. Did you need to trample on the human race? Did he not realize that the human race was his ancestor? Yes, they're truly Loki. Once Long Chen even killed his way into their headquarters and took all their resources, they didn't make a sound. So Loki added someone else. You, that ancient race expert was about to curse back when he suddenly noticed that he was surrounded by experts of the human race. He swallowed his curses. Seeing that he didn't dare to continue talking, those experts couldn't be bothered with him. They turned back to watch the fight. At this time, Long Chen had come out of his carriage. He walked toward that expert of the Xuan beasts. Now there will be a good show to watch. One's Man Bashan, one's Zhang Shianba. Let's see who's stronger, said someone excitedly. Man Bashan came from a neutral sect that had been in hiding. He had no relationship with anyone, and he was known as a tyrannical figure. There were already a few stories of his infamy. As for Zhang Shianba, he came from the Xuan beasts who always looked down on the human race. If the two of them clashed, it would be a perfect case of irritating fellows fighting each other. The others were quite happy to watch such a show. You killed my mound. It seems I'll need you to replace it. Long Chen suddenly shot forward. Smashing his rod at Zhang Shianba. Man Bashan, you might be able to be arrogant in front of others, but you aren't qualified to act like that in front of the Xuan beasts. Zhang Shianba roared and his rod also smashed toward Long Chen. When those two rods collided, a heaven shaking explosion erupted and divine light burst forward. The large Zhang Shianba was actually blown into the distance. Heavens, in terms of power, Man Bashan is actually greater than Zhang Shianba. Long Chen sneered. A little bear also dares to act this wild? In the future, just obediently pull my carriage. Long Chen's current power and fighting style were identical to Man Bashan's. That was the only way to avoid other people's suspicions. This imitation was quite simple for Long Chen. Man Bashan's energy stemmed from the barbarian dragon, and he didn't have any flashy techniques. Long Chen also liked that kind of fighting style that relied on overwhelming his opponents with power. As soon as they clashed, he knew that in terms of power, Zhang Shianba was a far cry from Man Bashan. Man Bashan was truly powerful. He definitely wasn't stronger than true immortal Jiaoki, but he would only be the slightest bit weaker. 
the reason why Long Chen had crushed him so easily was because his Azure Dragon blood suppressed his Barbarian Dragon power. Power of the Earth. Bear King slaughters the heavens. Shang Shianba's feet touched the ground, and his black fur suddenly became the color of the earth. His aura also completely transformed. How can a bear slaughter the heavens? Sneered Long Chen, smashing out his rod. Boom. However, this time, the earth didn't explode. Instead, it was like all the surrounding land had become one entity, resisting his strike. Long Chen was slightly surprised. This Shang Shianba actually had some ability. Shang Shianba was extracting the energy of the earth. His manifestation appeared behind him, and endless mountains appeared within it. They were crystal clear. This is, he's fully awakened his manifestation boom. Long Chen and Shang Shianba were forced back by each other's power. Man Bashan, do you see? My manifestation has already fully awakened. Even in terms of comprehension, my Xuan beasts are superior to your human race. I'll let you experience the power of a fully awakened manifestation today. Shang Shianba laughed wildly. The mountains within his manifestation began to shudder. This was no longer just an image, but it was its own world. So that's the case. No wonder you can only fully awaken your manifestation upon reaching the Life Star Realm, muttered Long Chen to himself as he looked at Shang Shianba's manifestation. The world within the manifestation was illusionary. But when a life star expert condensed their astral space, it would become the foundation for the manifestation and could transform the manifestation from illusory to real. The manifestation behind Zhang Shianba was a reflection of the world within his astral space. That was why it looked so real. He was fully in control of his world energy because his manifestation was his world. With a fully awakened manifestation, he was a true Empyrean. The mountains within his manifestation rumbled. Divine runes began to appear on the ground, sending energy toward Zhang Shianba. He's using the power of his manifestation to gather the energy of the very martial heaven continent. How can anyone fight him when he controls that much power? exclaimed one of the ancient family alliance's experts. Who would have thought that the first person on the continent to awaken their manifestation would actually be from the Xuan beasts? They'll probably brag about this for a lifetime sighed one of the neutral camp's experts. Both the ancient races and the Xuan beasts despised the human race, and they would directly scoff at the weaker ones, explicitly saying the human race was garbage. Now that Zhang Shianba had actually awakened his manifestation, they would never forget about this. This would be another thing they would hold over the human race. Is awakening a manifestation really so amazing? Everyone, look well. If I even have to use my manifestation, it will count as my loss, sneered Long Chen. His rod suddenly rumbled as he activated his azure dragon blood. A dragon cry resounded through the air. He was activating this divine item with the power of the azure dragon, and the power it unleashed was greater than what Zhang Baishan could hope to unleash. Boom. The ground exploded. The mighty and arrogant Zhang Shianba was sent tumbling back. Do you think the power of the barbarian dragon is something a little bear can block? Taking out my manifestation would be bullying you. Just obediently pull my carriage a wave of dust swirled around Long Chen. Although he hadn't summoned the azure dragon battle armor, he was already using the power of his dragon blood. He began unleashing a torrent of attacks at Shang Shianba. With each clash, Shang Shianba was sent tumbling back. The ground shook with each step and the earth exploded with each of Long Chen's attacks. What's going on? Was Man Bashan always so powerful? Even someone with a fully awakened manifestation can't stop him. Something seems off. If Zhang Shianba fully awakened his manifestation, why wouldn't the Xuan beasts announce it? That's right. That's not their style. I understand. Look closely at his manifestation. He didn't awaken it naturally. He must have used some outside power to forcibly awaken it. Look, there's no air of life within it. A manifestation was like a painting, but once it was awakened, it had its own life. Shang Shianba's manifestation looked alive, but it lacked an actual air of life. It was stiff. There's no blessing of the heavenly deos either. So he only managed to awaken it with some outside force. No wonder it didn't increase his power that much. What a greedy fellow. This Zhang Shianba was a genius who could stand at the peak, 
but due to his impatience, he's ruined his future. He'll only be half an Empyrean for the rest of his life. There's no way for him to fix his manifestation. Once everyone else's manifestations begin to awaken, he'll be trash. Stupid. Shang Shian roared and suddenly transformed into a giant bear, wielding his rod with both hands. His fur began to shine. The runes that had been spreading on the ground were suddenly all sucked up by him. He smashed his rod at Long Chen. He's gone berserk. He directly summoned his true body. Startled cries rang out. After being suppressed time and time again, Shang Shianba was actually staking everything on one attack. Shang Shianba's body was gigantic. His rod was like a heaven-splitting pillar, smashing down mercilessly. This was his strongest attack that not only contained all his power but also all his fury. He was originally a peak genius with top-grade talent. However, he wasn't patient enough. He wanted to be the first Empyrean on the continent with a fully awakened manifestation. Disregarding the warnings of his seniors, he had actually forcibly merged the power of his astral space with his manifestation, wanting to quicken the awakening. Awakening the manifestation was something that had to happen naturally. There was a sequence to it, and he was defying that sequence. Even if he was only a single step away, forcibly trying to awaken his manifestation was no good. Although he had succeeded, his manifestation had not received the recognition of the world. In other words, his manifestation was truly and completely crippled. He would never be able to fix his ruined manifestation and he would be doomed to be second-rate for the rest of his life. Right now, all he could do was bully others before they also awakened their manifestations. He had to hurry and crush everyone else while he could. To have ruined your future prospects because of your greed and advancing prematurely was something that would drive anyone crazy. Shang Shianba was filled with resentment, but because he caused all of this by himself, he couldn't resent anyone else. Originally, he had been planning on defeating Man Bashan today because Man Bashan had bullied some experts from the Xuan Beasts. His other goal was to make a name for himself before others managed to grow up. However, his luck wasn't good. This fake Man Bashan's combat power was absolutely terrifying. Furthermore, he hadn't even summoned his manifestation. Of course, the truth was that Long Chen couldn't summon Man Bashan's manifestation, even if he tried to fake it. He would immediately be sold out considering that he couldn't absorb heavenly Tao energy. He said that he wouldn't use it only to give himself cover. However, this cover ended up being viewed as absolute disdain from Man Bashan. Man Bashan actually wasn't treating Zhang Shianba seriously at all. In his rage, Zhang Shianba risked everything in one attack. Boom. Zhang Shianba's giant rod smashed into the ground, causing the world to shake. His power was truly terrifying, and even the distant experts were unable to stay steady. They were blown back, cracks spread along the ground, mountains crumbled, and giant boulders were flying through the air. It was like a scene from the end of the world. What terrifying power! The distant experts were gobsmacked. This kind of power was something that would blow anyone to smithereens. As expected, the Xuan Beast's power was inconceivable. However, when the wind settled, Everyone was shocked to find that they didn't see Man Bashan's figure within the ruined earth. He exploded people were stunned, but this didn't seem likely. Based on the power that Man Bashan had released, this attack should have at most heavily injured him. There was no way that he wouldn't have at least an intact corpse. Shang Shianba looked all around. He was stunned. When his rod had been about to smash Man Bashan, Man Bashan had suddenly vanished. His attack had missed. Suddenly. Shang Shianba let out a roar and smashed his rod behind him. At this moment, Man Bashan appeared there, his rod smashing toward Zhang Shianba. His rod grew until it was a giant pillar equal in size to Zhang Shianba's rod. Boom. Their two rods clashed once more. Shang Shianba's giant figure was actually sent tumbling across the ground. He bounced on the ground a dozen times, flipping over and over again. Each time, the ground shook intensely. Finally, Shang Shianba managed to stabilize himself. He suddenly coughed up a mouthful of blood. Due to his manifestation not being recognized by heaven and earth, he was unable to lock down Long Chen with his heavenly Tao energy. As for using spiritual strength, 
There was no way that someone from the Xuan beasts could use that to lock down Long Chen. So there had been no need for Long Chen to receive his attack. Long Chen didn't want to receive such an attack either. Even he would have to suffer a bit to take it head on. Long Chen had used the celestial lightning body blink to get away. But he had used it very subtly. And with space twisting so wildly from that attack. Others had been unable to tell. He had then gone around Zhang Xianba's giant body to strike him. At that time, Zhang Xianba had just launched an all-out attack and hadn't fully recovered. As a result, his hasty block didn't even have 70% of his power in it. What a blind bear. You can't even hit me. If you're this weak, you're not even fit to fight me, sneered Long Chen. His rod once more whipped toward Zhang Xianba. Zhang Xianba roared furiously but he was forced to retreat time and time again. This time, Long Chen didn't even give him a chance to unleash a powerful attack like before. Seeing Zhang Xianba being crushed like this, the surrounding experts sighed. Zhang Xianba was truly pitiful. His manifestation looked like it had awakened, but it had not received the recognition of the world. It only allowed him to use his world energy to its full potential but he was unable to merge it with his heavenly Tao energy to unleash even greater power. He was probably only slightly stronger than he had been before awakening his manifestation, but he had lost all his future prospects. Zhang Xianba was constantly absorbing energy from the land, ensuring that he wouldn't run out of energy. Even as he was forced to retreat miserably, it was very difficult for Long Chen to actually beat him. This fellow's too powerful. If he really awakened his manifestation properly, what could I do to him? Long Chen thought to himself, if his manifestation was truly awakened, just how powerful would he be? Little brood, shouldn't you hurry up and surrender? You killed my mound, so you can replace it. Otherwise, your life will end here. Do you think you can order around the great Xuan beasts? Fuck off, roared Zhang Xianba. Flames almost burst out of his eyes. However, he didn't even have any ability to retaliate. He could only bitterly endure. Since you want to be pig-headed, that's fine. I'll be eating bear meat tonight. Long Chen's attacks grew sharper and sharper. However, he still used the techniques that Man Bation was most skilled in. The experts watching had no doubt that he was Man Bation. Barbarian Dragon Heavenly Twister. Eighteen dragon-shaped figures flew out of Long Chen's rod transforming into a giant twister that attacked Zhang Xianba. This strange move caught Zhang Xianba off guard. He was instantly sucked into it and then into the air. Not good. Zhang Xianba's expression changed. Having left the ground, he was unable to absorb any more energy. Since he wasn't recognized by the heavenly Deos, he had lost his support. Coiling Dragon's 18 staves, Long Chen followed up with another attack. His rod twisted and turned seeming to become 18 separate rods that attacked from 18 different angles. Banging sounds mixed with the sound of bones breaking rang out. Zhang Xianba coughed up blood. Man Bation's so powerful. Even without using his manifestation, he managed to defeat Zhang Xianba. People's hearts shook. No one had thought that Man Bation was so terrifying. Just as Long Chen was launching consecutive attacks, a dozen attacks shot toward him. Experts from the Xuan beasts were actually interfering. You want to fight in a group? Fine, I'll accompany you. Long Chen laughed, his staff unleashing a wave of light that blasted apart those attacks. Like a devil, Long Chen began to attack the newcomers. He knew that Zhang Xianba wasn't someone he could kill here. If he did, it would only cause trouble. If his identity was exposed, that would be even more trouble. However, a bunch of little ants like these newcomers. They could be killed. Brother man, please stop. Suddenly, a figure appeared, tearing through space. He blocked Long Chen's path. Long Chen narrowed his eyes. This person wasn't someone that he knew, but Man Bation knew him. With Evil Moon's help, Long Chen had managed to get a complete set of his memories. Through those memories, he knew that this person was Lu Zichuan, a genius of the Yin Yang Sword sect. A neutral power. Just like the Barbarian Dragon Palace, the Yun Yang Sword Sect was an ancient sect that had been in hiding for so long that others had forgotten about their existence. They only appeared once the Great Era had come. Lu Zichuan had a pair of swords on his back. One was black, and one was white. 
They were known as the Yin Yang Dual Swords. When he used them, he could manifest the Tao before him. The legends were quite terrifying. It seemed that the Yin Yang Sword Sect had a slight relationship with the Barbarian Dragon Palace. As for Man Bashan and Lu Zichuan, the two of them had even exchanged pointers. But that time, Man Bashan had lost. Or rather than saying that he had lost, it was more accurate that Man Bashan had retreated to avoid losing. Lu Zichuan's Yin Yang dual swords were too strange, and he was unable to break through their defenses. They hadn't been allowed to go all out either to avoid harming the friendship between their sects. In truth, Man Bashan knew that he had lost, so he had been itching for another battle with Lu Zichuan. What, Brother Lu, are you thinking of stopping me? Long Chen's aura began to rise in preparations for a fight. He was facing Lu Zichuan with Man Bashan's character. I'm not a match for Brother Man. I'm just here to act as a mediator. Since the Brahma secret realm is about to open, we should consider what's important and what's not. There's no deep enmity between everyone. So why bother fighting to the death? Said Lu Zichuan. HMPH. This stupid bear killed my mound. How can I spare him? Well. Since Brother Lu has spoken up for you, I can give you face. But next time you dare to be rude to me, I really will be having some bear meat. After saying that, without even looking at the blood-stained Zhang Shianba, Long Chen walked into his carriage. Although there was no mound, the carriage activated on its own and flew away. Long Chen left, leaving behind countless spectators who were still dazed. This man Bashan was absolutely vicious. As for Zhang Shianba, he was infuriated. He couldn't stop his bleeding. The rod that Long Chen had used had unleashed immense dragon might when activated with the power of the Azure Dragon, and it had caused him to lose his ability to heal his wounds. A manifestation that was not acknowledged by the Heavenly Deus was viewed as cheating by the heavens. Even his original Heavenly Da recovery ability had lost a great deal of its effect. Under the strange gaze of countless experts, he had an urge to find a hole to bury himself in. Man Bashan, I swear I will avenge this enmity roared Zhang Bashan. He then also left after saying some vicious words. However, when comparing how Long Chen had left to how he was leaving, the difference was immense. As for the dual sword wielding Lu Zichuan, he had a disdainful smile, but he also didn't say anything. The various experts were quite pleased inside seeing this result. They had been able to see Zhang Shianba suffer so much. After all, being part of the human race, although they did their best to suppress that feeling, they still felt refreshed. The Xuan beasts and ancient races were just too hateful. However, Zhang Shianba at least let us see how powerful a manifestation is upon being fully awakened. Even though he isn't blessed by the heavenly Deos, he is able to unleash the full power of his world energy. While we are only able to use 30%, he's actually quite unlucky. Not only was his manifestation crippled, but he also ended up running into a monster like Man Bashan. Empyreans that haven't awakened their manifestations probably can't match either of them. One expert made a rather neutral evaluation. You're right. If his manifestation was truly awakened, he would be blessed by the heavenly Deos, and his heavenly Tao energy would have merged with his world energy. Then Man Bashan definitely wouldn't have been a match for him. But how could it be so easy to fully awaken a manifestation? Talent, willpower, opportunity, and luck. You can't be lacking even one. Moreover, you also need patience. We all have to patiently wait. The more impatient we are, the more chaotic our mental realms and the more difficult it will be to awaken our manifestations. Shang Shianba is a perfect example of what we shouldn't do. Empyreans are favored by the heavens. The heavenly deos will decide which one of us awakens our manifestation first. Anyone who tries to break that rule is definitely courting death. Fully awakening a manifestation was extremely difficult. Even though there were countless geniuses rising, even though there were countless people whose manifestations were just one step away from awakening, not one person had achieved it on the continent yet. They were all waiting. But as time passed, more and more people reached the same level as them. They might be surpassed if they kept waiting. The pressure these geniuses were under was immense. Each of them hoped to be the favored son of the heavens and run ahead of the others. However, if they wanted to really get ahead of others, they couldn't be disrespectful to the heavens. 
they couldn't cheat their way forward. Shang Shianba had ended up giving a perfect example for everyone. Now they didn't dare to even think about cheating like he had. It was better to patiently wait. Shang Shianba is essentially crippled. This defeat will definitely be a fatal blow to him. Others are all advancing. While he's stuck in his original spot, he'll only be thrown further and further behind, said someone. HMPH. What do you know? You're such a fool. Do you think Shang Shianba is someone you can discuss? Suddenly, one of the distant Xuan beasts opened his mouth. The reason Zhang Shianba was at a disadvantage was because he suffered some injuries due to forcibly awakening his manifestation. He can only use 80% of his real power right now. The reason he came out before fully recovering is because he wants to enter Brahma's secret realm. Inside, he can borrow the power of the gods to recover, and if he obtains their blessing, he might be able to restore his manifestation and truly awaken it. Pill Valley's higher-ups have already arranged things to be more convenient for him. Just watch. Next time the two of them meet, Man Bashan will definitely be the one to die. You neutral people are opportunists who don't understand anything. All you know how to do is spout nonsense. Those experts' expressions sank at being criticized by this Schwen beast. But before they could retort, the Schwen beasts left. Fuck those idiots from the Schwen beasts. Long Chen really needs to bully them more. They're too hateful. Hopefully, Long Chen can enter as well and kill them, said one neutral expert. Don't get angry. It's meaningless. We're basically only here to watch the fun and see if we can dredge up anything good. After all, the Xuan beasts are allied with Pill Valley, while we're not. Let's go. The spectators began to scatter. However, many of them continued to discuss Man Bashan and Zhang Shianba as well as discussing Zhang Shianba's goal in the Brahma secret realm. Long Chen had slipped away in his carriage. Without a mount pulling him, he felt strange. He had an urge to get a Xuan beast to pull his carriage, but then he felt that it would be too arrogant. Even Man Bashan wouldn't be so arrogant. He could only continue in his carriage with no mount, no longer crashing forward like before. With Pill Valley not that far ahead, he didn't dare to act too exaggerated. Long Chen looked down at the barren ground below him and recognized this place to be one of the former seven danger zones of the Martial Heaven continent, the Heaven Devouring Forest. The Heaven Devouring Forest had been damaged by the fire of Pill Valley thanks to Long Chen's incitement. Then in the spirit world, they had been destroyed by Long Chen. Now the Heaven Reaching Forest had vanished. Back when he had first seen the Heaven Devouring Forest, he had been stunned by the terrifying tree monsters. But now, it had vanished from this world. Great heroes are born on the martial heaven continent. The true dragon rises arrogantly above all. Unrivaled divine power shatters heaven and earth. A power that looks down on all others. Nowadays, mediocrity is everywhere. People think of themselves as amazing without realizing others are laughing at them. The divine valley and ghost forest are still present. But the master long San of that time has vanished. Back then. Someone had come up with this humorous poem. Reciting it, Long Chen didn't know what feeling he had. The Divine Valley was still present, but the ghost forest was gone. When he had fled from Pill Valley, the Pill Fairy had appeared in front of him. Instead of stopping him, she had given him her symbol in hopes that he would be able to slip away. He would never be able to forget that kindness. As for now, he was like water and fire with Pill Valley. There was no way to mediate things between himself and Yu Ziaoyan. As for the Pill Fairy, she was currently receiving Pill Valley's god inheritance. How stupidly dramatic Long Chen cursed. He wasn't afraid of any enemy, but he was afraid of facing the Pill Fairy. If the Pill Fairy was standing in front of him, would he really be able to bring himself to kill her? As he got closer to Pill Valley, he saw more and more experts. He saw people from the ancient races. The Corrupt Path, the Ancient Family Alliance, the Xuan Beasts, and even some people from Heavenly Fate Island. The people from Heavenly Fate Island had different auras from regular cultivators, making them easy to recognize. However, they were no longer wearing robes of Heavenly Fate Island. They were wearing disciple robes of other sects. It seemed that Heavenly Fate Island's elite disciples had been snatched up by the various large sects. The four fate princes were dead. 
the unfettered Alsir had been killed by the Dragonblood Legion, and Ji Wuming had fallen to Long Chen's hands. Heavenly Fate Island was truly and fully done. Those disciples had naturally found other paths for themselves. Long Chen also saw several black-robed figures on his path. They covered up their faces, making it so others couldn't recognize them. They didn't have any auras around them, and even looking right at them, it was impossible to sense their existence. Clearly, these were assassins from the Bloodkill Hall. For them to be openly walking around in daylight, Long Chen had an urge to kill them. He had destroyed the statue of the Killing God, and there was no way for him to settle things with them. The Bloodkill Hall had tried to assassinate him multiple times before his anger had been provoked and he had started counterattacking. The most infuriating time was when he had found one of their strongholds and their leader had said that once he managed to survive a few more assassinations, their enmity would end. Long Chen still remembered how arrogant that person had been. It was like other people's lives were nothing, and if the Bloodkill Hall wanted to assassinate someone, they could only endure. That was why Long Chen had smashed their statue of the Killing God, making it so there was no way to reconcile their hatred. Fuck. Just wait. Once we're in the Brahma secret realm, I'll teach you all why roses are red, muttered Long Chen. The Bloodkill Hall was quite crafty. In his last tribulation, there had been some disciples of the Bloodkill Hall hiding amongst the enemy experts. They had tried to assassinate people from the Dragonblood Legion. But those assassins that had fought back then were expendable. Although some were killed, they weren't true elites. The Bloodkill Hall had been holding those back. Continuing forward, he finally arrived at a large empty space. This space was where the transportation formation to enter Pill Valley was. He had come here before. However, this giant space was now packed with powerful experts. And even Long Chen jumped in shock. Where did this many powerful experts come from? When Long Chen arrived before the transportation formation he had come to years ago, he was stunned by the sea of people he saw. These experts were all at the Life Star Realm. Every one of them was a terrifying Empyrean. He guessed that there were no less than a million of them. How is this fucking possible? Long Chen couldn't believe his eyes. Had he gone crazy? Or had the world gone crazy? Just where had these people come from? The ancient races, the Xuan beasts, the ancient family alliance, they had all sent tens of thousands of experts each. Hence, many of those experts were foreign faces to him. However, he quickly saw some clues. The closest group of people to him were from the ancient races, and he saw many familiar faces in that group. Those people had once fought against the Dragonblood Legion. About a tenth of those people were the ones he recognized but the rest didn't look familiar to him. I get it. Long Chen suddenly realized what was going on. He had heard from Ku Jinying that the other powers of the continent were not completely united. Only a portion of their forces were controlled by their leaders. Taking the ancient races as an example, although Long Junkang was the leader of the ancient races, he only controlled a portion of them. Many ancient races wouldn't participate in any fights even if he tried to order them. Originally, he had thought those races that didn't listen to his orders were only a small fraction. But in truth, the ancient races were numerous. They weren't actually as united as they appeared to be on the surface. And so they also had some internal battles. Some races were also very low-key, afraid of being viewed as threats too early. So they had quietly grown stronger. Although the Long Junkang led the ancient races, Several extremely terrifying figures within the ancient races were secretly raising their own forces. They might even be waiting for a suitable opportunity to overthrow Long Junkang and take his position. As for Long Junkang, one reason he wished to become one with the Xuan beasts was not just for the feeling of returning to his ancestors but also to consolidate his own position amongst the ancient races. Those races and powers had been secretly accumulating power. But with Pill Valley sharing their god inheritance with everyone, they were unable to continue hiding. They began to appear one by one. In truth, it wasn't just Long Chen who was stunned. Even the ancient races, the Xuan beasts, the corrupt path, the ancient family alliance, and the other powers of the continent were stunned. They didn't know that they possessed so many geniuses. As for the geniuses of the neutral powers, they were present in even greater numbers. 
that was because many of the righteous path sects had actually switched to become neutral powers and reduce the possible risk Novaloon.com There were also some righteous sects that directly joined Pill Valley's side while still flying the banner of the righteous path. They simply said that they could not exist under the Martial Heaven Alliance led by Kujinying. They wished to topple the Martial Heaven Alliance and rebuild the righteous path. Those righteous sects had become Pill Valley's subordinates. They would do whatever Pill Valley wanted them to do. And they were even more obedient than dogs. The people from the corrupt path, the ancient races, and the other powers all looked down on them. Although they were looked down upon, they had a direct connection to Pill Valley. And so they would get some special treatment when the Brahma secret realm opened. It was said that the powers that had allied themselves with Pill Valley were given special tablets for the Brahma secret realm. Those tablets were supposed to allow them to enter special areas inside, but Pill Valley hadn't been too clear on the exact details. In any case, Pill Valley's meaning was clear. If you followed them, they wouldn't let you suffer. If you didn't follow them, then don't follow the Martial Heaven Alliance either, and they would allow you to enter the Braha secret realm. But as for the best stuff inside, sorry, but that was only for their people. When Long Chen arrived, countless coal gazes turned toward him. Many of those gazes were filled with hostility. Some people even probed him with spiritual strength, which was a naked provocation. As expected, this was one of the iron laws of the cultivation world. No matter what appearance he took, he wasn't an exception. Long Chen suddenly went crazy smashing one horned man of the ancient races with his rod what you have a problem with me i'll beat the crap out of you shouted long chen this person had tried to use spiritual strength to investigate him even the real man bation wouldn't be able to endure such a thing the surrounding experts jumped in shock this man bation was truly violent to start a fight here that ancient race expert hadn't expected long chen to suddenly strike and so he was sent flying Hacking up blood. Man Bashan, you are courting death. All the ancient race experts were infuriated. They didn't know what that horned man had done to draw his ire, and they thought that Man Bashan was simply provoking them. Over a hundred thousand experts of the ancient races took out their weapons. Ha ha ha. Do you think a little brat like him can probe me with their soul? Not killing that idiot was already giving face to the ancient races. If you want to fight because of it, then I'll accompany you. Long Chen raised his rod, unafraid of the surrounding experts. It is not permitted to raise weapons in front of the gates to Pill Valley. Don't blame my Pill Valley for being merciless and expelling you if you break this rule. A cold shout rang out. Some of Pill Valley's experts were startled by this disturbance and came out to stop him. After all, this was Pill Valley's territory, and the Brahma secret realm also belonged to Pill Valley. If others wanted to enter, they had to be obedient. Through Pill Valley's investigation, upon hearing that this expert had used his spiritual strength to probe others, those ancient race experts could only snort and put away their weapons. Using spiritual strength to probe others was definitely a provocation. It was like looking through a person's clothes. Even if the other side wasn't a woman, it wasn't possible to accept such an insult. Even if the victim wasn't someone as violent as Man Bashan they wouldn't be able to endure it. But while the experts of the ancient races put down their weapons, they still glared at Man Bashan with hostility. It didn't matter who was wrong or right. As long as someone attacked the ancient races, it would be viewed as disrespectful to all the ancient races. This enmity would be remembered. Compared to the human race, the ancient races were definitely more united, even if they had some internal battles. At least no one looked at the unfortunate fellow with delight at his misfortune or hit him while he was down. Just this one point of theirs was far superior to the human race. In the face of the ancient race's hostility, Long Chen merely sneered. Holding his rod, he walked over to the neutral camp. Fuck. So even I ended up standing in the neutral camp. Long Chen sighed. There were over a hundred thousand experts in the neutral camp. But Long Chen didn't get any greeting. The majority of them treated him warily, with some even looking at him with disgust. However, that suited him. He sat down in an empty space. Looking around, he sighed inside. The human race is actually so large, but we're fractured, allowing even the ancient races and the Shuen beasts to look down on us. 
the neutral camps experts, the ancient family alliances experts, and the traitors of the Martial Heaven Alliance were all humans. At the very least, they numbered over 500,000. If all that power was added onto the Martial Heaven Alliance, who would dare to fight them? However, humans were truly curious beings. They always liked to fight amongst themselves, wanting to be one step above the others. There were over a million experts gathered here. If they joined forces and attacked the Martial Heaven Alliance, that would be an unprecedented tribulation. There would be no way to stop them. Even if Yu Ziaoyan only managed to control half of them, it would be enough to flatten the Martial Heaven Alliance. Long Chen sighed. Yu Ziaoyan's schemes were truly amazing. Even as his enemy, Long Chen had to feel some admiration. I'll have to think of some way to ruin his plans. Otherwise, if the Martial Heaven Alliance falls, my Dragonblood Legion might not be able to stay standing. Long Chen found that quite a few people amongst these experts gave him a fair bit of pressure. The Martial Heaven continent was filled with hidden dragons and crouching tigers. Many figures amongst these experts were on true immortal Jiaoki's level. If Long Chen exposed his identity, he would probably have difficulty leaving alive. All the monsters of the continent had gathered here. This was all outside of Long Chen's expectations. Who would have thought that the Martial Heaven continent had been hiding so many geniuses? Long Chen had just sat down when he saw Zhang Shianba walk in and join the Xuan beasts. He cast a hateful glance at Long Chen, looking like he wanted to tear him to pieces. Following Zhang Shianba's arrival, a large group of experts also arrived. Those were the spectators of the battle, and once they began to spread out and spread news of Man Bashan's battle against Zhang Shianba, countless gazes turned toward Long Chen, with them communicating through divine sense. This news quickly spread throughout everyone present. Following them, Long Chen saw Lu Zichuan, as well as his old acquaintance, Di Feng. Di Feng still appeared as majestic as ever. He was currently greeting people within the ancient family alliance. He also saw Zi Luo and Yan Wei. They were the only ones remaining of the peak experts that had once attacked him. Their auras were even stronger than when they had fought him. Most likely, they had advanced further into the Life Star Realm, while Long Chen was still stuck in his original spot. After six hours of waiting, one of Pill Valley's elders walked up. Everyone, the time has come. Please follow me into Pill Valley. Finally, it was time to enter Pill Valley. The experts present couldn't help feeling excited. They had great expectations for the Brahma Secret Realm. Last time, when Long Chen had entered Pill Valley, he had gone through the transportation formation. However, as there were just too many people this time, they ended up flying through the air. They were flying through a long canyon. There were 81 wonders and 360 turns, each showing different beautiful scenery. This entire canyon represented a kind of realm in alchemy. When Long Chen had first come to Pill Valley, Elder Zhao Xiang had explained it to him in detail. Now that he was flying through this canyon once more, he felt a completely different feeling. As for the other experts, they curiously looked at the canyon, finally understanding where Pill Valley's name came from. Everyone, take note of the two statues at the end. You must pay respects to our gods, Lord Brahma and Fallen Day Knight. Although everyone has different faiths, you cannot do anything to blaspheme our gods. There is no need to kowtow, but an insult to them would be an insult to Pill Valley turning you into Pill Valley's mortal enemy. Take note, shouted the elder leading the path. These disciples came from various powers, and they had their own beliefs. Some of them believed in gods, and for some of them, there hadn't been the slightest communication to their gods in countless years, and even any inheritance left behind had been fractured and was gone. However, many people were still extremely devout to their beliefs. They had unswerving loyalty to them so they definitely wouldn't kowtow to any other gods. That would be a betrayal. Sometimes, faith was very interesting. Many gods taught their followers that they were the one true god, while others were just false gods and their followers had to scoff at those false gods. That was why this elder of Pill Valley was first warning everyone. If anyone spat on their gods, they would definitely be slaughtered. Blaspheming their gods? Does peeing count? Long Chen suddenly smiled derisively. He looked at the two statues and couldn't help thinking of what he had done to them back then. 
It was just regretful that he didn't leave behind a sign of what he had done, or Pill Valley would have definitely gone insane. Pill Valley's experts all knelt down reverently once they arrived at the statues. As for the other disciples, some bowed, while others just silently stared without doing anything. They had their own faiths and couldn't revere other gods. The people from the corrupt path, the blood kill hall, and even the Schwen beasts all didn't bow. The corrupt path had their corrupt god, the blood kill hall had their killing god, and while the Schwen beasts had no god they believed in, their faith lay in the Peng Emperor. Of course, many others didn't move either as they worshipped their own gods. Long Chen was amongst them, and this wasn't conspicuous at all. After kneeling to his gods, that elder continued leading people into Pill Valley. For some reason, Long Chen's heart tensed up. If he entered the gates of Pill Valley and was exposed, he might never be able to leave. That was definitely courting death. There were already thousands of Pill Valley's experts gathered here. Pill Valley's grand formation activated. Divine light suddenly spread from the two statues, enveloping everyone. No need to panic. To prevent any spies of the Martial Heaven Alliance from entering, we're starting the examination to make sure that you're who you say you are. All you need to do is take out your tablets, said the elder. Hearing that, everyone relaxed slightly, and only Long Chen's heartbeat quickened. However, thinking about it, he was already prepared for this. He wasn't afraid of being investigated. Who are you? As the geniuses were investigated one by one, an elder of Pill Valley suddenly shouted. A ray of light fell from the great formation, enveloping a man who was pale with fright. The man could only sigh. I'm just a nameless rogue cultivator. I'm not strong or talented enough to enter Pill Valley's eyes. Someone mocked me while I was traveling, and we ended up in a fight. I ended up killing him and taking his token, hoping I could change my fate. I didn't think I'd be so easily exposed. Well, fine. I can only accept whether you want to kill or plunder me. Someone really had tried to sneak their way in? Quite a few experts were startled. As for Long Chen, looking at that man, a slight smile suddenly appeared on his face. Since you want to defy the fate the heavens gave you, why not openly come to my pill valley? We've long since announced that as long as you draw a clear line between yourself and the Martial Heaven Alliance, even if you don't stand on Pill Valley's side, you can still enter the Brahma secret realm, shouted the elder. That man bitterly smiled. But I'm just a rogue cultivator. None of the major powers care about me. How could I be qualified to be invited? To come to Pill Valley for the Brahma secret realm required an invitation card. The various sects and powers had first applied for invitations with Pill Valley, and then once Pill Valley had confirmed things, they had sent out the tablets. As for rogue cultivators, they weren't viewed importantly normally. They had no sects. So how could they obtain the tablets? However, this isn't an excuse for you to sneak into Pill Valley. According to Pill Valley's rules, you will be killed. The man immediately turned pale white, but the elder continued. However, as a rogue cultivator, making something of yourself isn't easy. To be kind, we will give you a way in. You can enter the Brahma secret realm, but you need to swear before the gods to devote yourself to the lives of the continent and not associate with the Martial Heaven Alliance. Can you do that? Fuck. So it was actually a play. Long Chen sneered inside. That man was delighted and hastily knelt on the ground, swearing to be absolutely loyal to Pill Valley in the future. The elder nodded and announced, if there are others like him present, I'd advise you to come out and admit it sooner rather than later. Pill Valley is always kind to others, so we won't kill you. If you stand out now, we can let bygones be bygones. But if anyone tries to sneak in still, the only thing for you will be death. Does anyone dare to blaspheme the might of the gods? The statues of Lord Brahma and Fallen Danite were right there, giving off endless pressure. Thunder rumbled with the elder's final words. The might of God's my ass. Who are they conning? If I hadn't pissed on their heads before, I might even believe it. Long Chen's lip curled. However, over ten experts slowly walked out of the crowd due to the elder's words. Apologizing. The elder didn't get angry. Instead, he had them stand to the side, saying that someone would come to register them. Idiots. Once the rest of us go in, they'll show you their true face. Long Chen sighed. 
The first person was definitely an actor arranged by Pill Valley. He might have looked terrified, but his heartbeat hadn't changed at all. Such a poor performance was actually able to dupe people? Long Chen was speechless. This world truly had many idiots. It seemed that there weren't enough Connors. Hence, Long Chen couldn't understand how they had managed to live for so long. It was definitely a miracle. I'll give you a single breath's time. If you still don't come out then we find out you're lying. It will be viewed as a blasphemy to the gods. The only thing remaining for you will be death. I'm not afraid of telling you this. Based on the information we've received, Long Chen has already snuck amongst your midst. Today, we want to make sure that there's no way he can leave. The elder smiled confidently. Hearing this, Long Chen's heart skipped a beat. Had he really fallen for a trap? Just at this moment, a startled cry rang out from a woman, and Long Chen recognized her as Qi Xuan. Her big sister, Qi Fengsu, was beside her. They came from the heaven-reaching ancient castle. Qi Xuan had jumped in shock at the elder's words, drawing countless gazes. Qi Fengsu pulled her over, and Qi Xuan acted like she had made a mistake, lowering her head and not daring to look at the others. Seeing Qi Xuan, Long Chen's heart warmed. This girl was not even pure. She was like a child. He had once traveled with her for some time, and she had always remembered that favor. The reason she had cried out was because she was worried for him. After that brief disturbance, the elder's gaze rapidly roved around the crowd. Let's continue. More geniuses began to step forward to test their identity. However, there was now a heavy atmosphere. Some of them were looking around sharply looking like they were intent on finding Long Chen amongst the crowd. A tall tree attracts wind. Long Chen was that tall tree. He was given the name of the number one figure of the junior generation. He was viewed with envy by countless experts, and they refused to accept that he was superior to them. They wanted to take his place. Several people hoped to be able to personally end Long Chen's undefeatable legend. However, even as their gazes roved around, Long Chen acted indifferently, simply slowly walking forward. Suddenly, the formation shook. A life star disciple was blasted apart by a ray of divine light just as he took out his tablet. HMPH, I gave you a chance just now, but you didn't cherish it, still wanting to sneak in. Fool, sneered the elder. That disciple had clearly been an imposter. He had been seen through and killed by the formation. This formation was linked to the two divine statues. The divine might that had descended just now made people's hair stand on end. That kind of power was absolutely terrifying. The few experts that had been dissatisfied with Pill Valley's stringent verification process finally shut their mouths and obediently followed instructions. Over a million experts slowly went through. Finally, it was Long Chen's turn. Long Chen handed his tablet to one of the elders in charge of the investigation. Suddenly, the void rumbled and the formation activated once more. Long Chen's heartbeat quickened. He began to secretly store up energy, ready to charge out immediately. Blood splattered and a life star disciple was slain by the grand formation. Once again, another faker had been found. As for Long Chen, the elder checking his tablet returned it to him. Looking at him, he narrowed his eyes. It seems that you're quite calm. HMPH. I've passed the barbarian dragon trials. So do you think this little formation scares me? Sneered Long Chen. In truth, Long Chen's heart had dropped. He had actually revealed some clues in his true identity just now. Normally, he should have jumped in shock from that, as that was instinct. But by forcing himself to act calm, he instead drew suspicion. The elder shouted. It doesn't matter what status you have or where you're from. Remember that this is Pill Valley, not your barbarian dragon palace. Long Chen's arrogance had provoked the elder. Long Chen silently took back his tablet without saying anything. He did it on purpose to provoke the elder and distract others. Peacefully entering, Long Chen followed the others that had passed. He had a bad feeling, but having come, he could only keep going. As for the experts that had yet to go through the examination, they were growing more and more nervous. They were ready to fight for when Long Chen was exposed. However, in the end, other than a few dozen people that were killed while trying to sneak in, there was nothing else. Where was Long Chen? In the face of their suspicion, the elder leading them said, In truth, 
We were just joking with everyone. As long as Long Chen isn't an idiot, he wouldn't dare to come here. After all, would he dare to become enemies with everyone here? Hearing that as well as seeing his smirk, the experts were speechless. They had actually been duped. They snorted, dissatisfied with this little joke. After all, they were all experts who had originally hoped to see Long Chen. But after all that anticipation, they were let down. However, this was Pill Valley's territory, and they had to endure. They continued onwards. Once they reached the main plaza, Long Chen found that the current Pill Valley was completely different from what it had been the last time he was here. Of course it wasn't the same. Back then, he had drawn out an Aldevil monster from the Heaven Dragon Flame region that had almost destroyed Pill Valley. If Yu Ziaoyan hadn't been disturbed out of his seclusion, Pill Valley would probably have been done for. Pill Valley had been completely rebuilt. All the bricks were fresh, and it looked thriving and full of vitality. When I have time, I'll make sure to fix this. This style doesn't suit my personal aesthetics. Long Chen had a new thought as he looked at the new buildings. Just as all the experts arrived, the plaza's grand formation activated and waves of divine light rippled out. Within that divine light, a slender figure slowly appeared. It was the peerless beauty, the pill fairy. The experts that had been whispering amongst themselves instantly fell silent in the face of this beauty. Long Chen looked at the pill fairy. She looked the same as before, except the warmth and gentleness of her face had vanished. Now she seemed untouchably sacred. The feeling of a kind big sister had vanished, replaced with the iciness of a supreme figure high and above others. Her robes were snow white, and there was a foot wide halo of light behind her head. That halo was filled with divine power. The sacred air that came off of it made people have an urge to kneel in worship before her. Looking at the pill fairy, Long Chen did his best to control his emotions, but he couldn't help feeling disappointed. The current pill fairy was no longer the old pill fairy. She had changed. The pill fairy gracefully walked over. That beauty and air of hers was enough to make men lose their minds and women despair at their inferiority. Great divine daughter, please open the gate to the Brahma secret realm for us, said the Nether Passage Elder of Pill Valley. The current pill fairy's status was completely different, and everyone from Pill Valley was subservient to her. The pill fairy's expression was cold. She slowly formed hand seals in front of her and divine light began to shine. After that, an image of a white flame appeared on her forehead. Long Chen had seen it before, but this time it possessed endless holy might. She began to chant. It was the same voice as before, but now it was completely cold. Lord Brahma, great God, hear your disciples call. Bestow me your divine power to break the seal and open the gate to the Brahma secret realm. Each of her words rang out like rumbling thunder in people's ears shaking people's souls. Even Long Chen's expression changed. Just what kind of power is this? Long Chen's heart shook. This invisible energy was almost irresistible. This is the power of the gods, and this is just the slightest trace of it. If it was a true god, with your current cultivation base, you wouldn't be able to do anything. If that god told you to kill yourself, you would listen without hesitation, said Evil Moon. Fuck, is it really so strong? Then what about my piss? It has nothing to do with that. Do you think a god only leaves behind a single inheritance? Let me tell you, they leave behind so many inheritances that they can't even keep track of them. As for this god power, it isn't the power of a true god. It is an agglomeration of faith energy, mental energy, and their divine energy. To put it more simply, this isn't the true power of a god. A god won't focus their attention on such a place. Unless you destroy one of their divine statues that has reached a certain level. Furthermore, why do you care about gods? You're someone who has even subdued a god. Remember? If they were to come looking for you, you can just do the same to them. Chortle Devil Moon. Scram. I still haven't reached the point of not differentiating between men and women. Snorted Long Chen. He. Let me tell you. Your actions last time weren't for nothing. As for how it'll benefit you. Well. I think I won't say to avoid any karma, but you'll know in the future, laughed Evil Moon. Just at this moment, two rays of divine light came from the two divine statues, landing on the pill fairy. Immersed in their light, the pill fairy slowly pulled her hands apart from each other. The void rumbled, 
in front of everyone's dumbfounded gazes, the space above the plaza slowly split, and the runes of the Grand Dao flew apart. The Pill Fairy had actually forcibly torn apart the void. What they saw inside the tier was not the chaotic flow of space time, but a completely different world. However, the space was still twisting wildly, making it so that they couldn't see the other side clearly. Despite that, the air of the Grand Dao floated through it. Heavens, the laws of the Grand Dao are actually so close. It'll be so much easier to comprehend them inside and awaken our manifestations. Someone let out an excited cry, but no one laughed at them. The others were also filled with excitement. The pill fairy didn't look at anyone else. She gracefully walked through space, lotus flower runes appearing beneath her feet. Those runes stabilized the space. Everyone, don't rush. Wait for the divine daughter to pass through. The channel will quickly stabilize, and everyone else can enter. But before that, I want to say a few words. The Divine Daughter is the future Valley Master. You've all seen her power. Long Chen is an ant that can be exterminated with the wave of her hand, said the Elder. In truth, Pill Valley's foundation is something that outsiders cannot even imagine. The reason we are willing to share the Brahma secret realm with everyone is because our goal is to bring peace to the entire continent. Due to Ku Jin Ying's dictatorship, the continent is tottering on the brink of war, and there's also a devil king like Long Chen causing chaos. They are in control of a large fraction of the continent's power. Those people have been bewitched by Long Chen and Ku Jin Ying, and it's difficult to save them. There are plenty of fools in this world who only hear what they want to hear. Long Chen has fooled those people, but they are unable to tell that Long Chen is a conner. However, they are innocent and my Pill Valley does not want to raise our butcher's blade against them. That would cause rivers of blood to flow. So we need to strengthen our alliance until we can win them over without fighting. We will use absolute power to make them give up. You've all seen the world on the other side of the channel. The Grand Dao is much closer there. Once you enter, the odds of you awakening your manifestations will multiply. You've seen our sincerity, so I hope to see yours as well. Before entering the channel, you must swear before the gods. Neutral experts must swear to maintain your neutrality, while allied experts must swear their loyalty to the alliance. Of course, if any neutral experts wish to join our alliance, we have special treatment for you. Everyone, take a look. The elder took out a small object. When Long Chen saw it, he scoffed. They were once more shamelessly making the same play. That elder took out a spherical object. Showing it off as he said, the Brahma secret realm is open to everyone here, but there are parts of it that contain the inheritance of our gods. I'm sure everyone here knows that no sect would allow others to enter such areas. We are only opening those areas to our allies. In other words, the disciples of Pill Valley, the ancient races, the corrupt path, the ancient family alliance, the Schwen beasts, the blood kill hall, and some loyal righteous sects will be allowed in. We've given them special barrier-breaking beads that will allow them to enter the core of the Brahma secret realm. That place is protected by a divine formation. And there, you can gather spirit medicines, receive all kinds of inheritances, maybe even get the God's blessing and instantly awaken your manifestation as expected. It was this plot again. There was no such thing as a free lunch, and neither was there a free breakfast or dinner. As a result, the neutral camp's experts' expressions changed. They weren't fools. They knew what Pill Valley was trying to do. But even though they knew it, they couldn't resist this temptation. Opening the Brahma secret realm to them for free was already generous. Hence, for them to leave the best stuff for their allies wasn't something that they could complain about. May I ask what kind of benefits we will get if we swear loyalty to Pill Valley? And what about the disadvantages? Asked one disciple. The benefits are that you will be able to enter the core of the Brahma secret realm. That place has several times the heavenly Tao energy as outside said the elder. Several times. The heavenly Tao energy on the outer edges is already so dense. Several times that? What kind of concept is that? Doesn't that mean that the odds of us awakening our manifestations will multiply as well? Quite a few disciples eyes lit up. And they began to exclaim in delight. Could they be any more fake? Long Chen looked at their act and almost vomited. These disciples were definitely planted there by Pill Valley. It was too obvious. 
Those disciples' exaggerated reactions had completely sold them out. They hadn't even seen what was in the core region, but their eyes were about to pop out. Having lived in the secular world, Long Chen had gotten bored of this kind of play in the Phoenix Cry Empire, and now he was seeing the same thing in the cultivation world. Were they insulting other people's intelligence? You are all correct. Not only will the chances of awakening your manifestation increase, but there are all kinds of inheritances spread throughout that region. If you're lucky, you might even obtain an 11th tier medicinal pill, said the elder. An 11th tier medicinal pill. People's hearts shook. Was this supposed to mean that even Pill Valley couldn't refine 11th tier medicinal pills, and they could only be procured in the Brahma secret realm? That couldn't be right. Pill Valley wouldn't allow an 11th tier medicinal pill to fall into the hands of an outsider. An 11th tier medicinal pill either had to be a legend, or it had to belong to them. Long Chen suddenly realized where the con lay. It lay in the fact that he said if their luck was good, but if their luck wasn't good, an uproar was occurring amongst the other experts. An 11th tier medicinal pill was extremely alluring, as no one in the outside world had ever seen one before. Some people had never even heard of such a thing. If they had an 11th tier medicinal pill, then no matter what its effect was, it could change the life of a life star expert. Even Long Chen wasn't able to remain calm, let alone the others. Although they also saw that this was just a play from Pill Valley, the bait was truly amazing. Those who become Pill Valley's allies can enter the core of the Brahma secret realm. You can search for medicinal pills, inheritances precious spirit plants, minerals, etc. There is even the chance of obtaining God's blessing. However, these benefits aren't Pill Valley's charity. The core region will not be open for free. To become Pill Valley's ally and enter the core region, you must promise to come out and fight for Pill Valley when we try to save the continent and suppress evil. Of course, the chance of a fight is very low. You've also seen how strong our current alliance is. As long as even a portion of you awaken your manifestations, we'll be able to easily crush the Martial Heaven Alliance and the Dragon Blood Legion. With such a power disparity, they aren't even qualified to fight against us. If you join us, it would mostly just be a show of power. The odds of a battle are very, very low. The Elder spoke confidently as if he didn't place the Martial Heaven Alliance or the Dragon Blood Legion in his eyes. As for the crowd of experts, they acknowledged his words. With so many experts gathered, crushing the Martial Heaven Alliance would certainly be easy. However, even though the ancient races, the Xuan Beasts, the Corrupt Path, and the Ancient Family Alliance were allied with Pill Valley, their own internal structures were complicated. They weren't as united as Pill Valley and the Blood Kill Hall, their leaders, and thus, the Alliance, could only order a small portion of them. When it came to the majority, some might support them and some might not. If those people supported them, then there would be no need for Pill Valley to even open up the Brahma secret realm. They would have crushed Long Chen during his tribulation. However, now they had been forced to toss out such huge bait, and it was truly too great for anyone to resist. If these experts wanted to enter the core region, then they had to become solid allies with Pill Valley. Of course, we won't force you. Every person has the right to decide for themselves. Some people don't want to join not because they're afraid, but because they prefer their freedom and don't want to cause trouble, said the elder. I'm joining. Isn't it just the Dragonblood Legion? I'm not afraid of them. Long Chen? HMPH. I've long since wanted to cut off his head. I'm willing to join as well. Me too. As a cultivator, if I didn't even have this little bit of daring, how would I even cultivate quite a few of the neutral camps experts stepped forward, indicating that they wished to join Pill Valley's side. Long Chen cursed them inside. Even though he wasn't even doing anything, they were cursing him. If he didn't slap them silly, he wouldn't be Long Chen. Wait a moment. Unexpectedly, the elder waved his hand to cut off those people. Young people should consider their decisions first. Once you decide, you won't be able to change your decision. I will distribute the barrier-breaking beads to everyone here. You can enter the secret realm first and then decide if you wish to enter the core. When the time comes, don't say that Pill Valley is conning you with fake promises. If you find that the core region is truly as alluring as I've said, 
you can crush your barrier breaking beads to enter. Let me just make one thing clear though. These beads contain the power of the gods. There are contractual runes inside. And once crushed, it indicates that you have sworn to be allies with Pill Valley. If you try to betray this oath, you will be cursed by the gods. It's extremely serious. So be clear on this. There are actually quite a few good spots in the outer regions of the Brahma secret realm that you can use to cultivate and increase your comprehension. Perhaps you will be able to find some opportunity within some ruins. Alright, that's all I have to say. I trust you all understand. The channel has fully stabilized. So let's draw lots to see who goes first. The elder took out a tile. Once he put his spiritual strength inside, numbers appeared. It was a tool used for drawing lots. The representatives from the various major factions came forward. The result was that the ancient family alliance's side would be the first batch to enter. Those who belonged to the alliance directly entered, while those that were part of the ancient family alliance but hadn't expressed their support for Pill Valley were given barrier breaking beads. There were many experts from the ancient family alliance. As they entered, the others were forced to make room for them to pass. Long Chen was standing in his original location, but two women ended up having to get out of the way, resulting in them getting closer to him. The two of them were Qi Xuan and Qi Fengxu from the heaven-reaching ancient castle. When they ended up pushed closer to him, Qi Xuan looked up at him fearfully and recoiled. Long Chen's current appearance was a bit frightening. Suddenly, some of the ancient family alliance's disciples ended up crashing toward Qi Fengxu. Perhaps they were too excited or pushed by others. Chi Fengsu frowned and summoned a barrier of spiritual chi to stop them. As a result, one of them ended up striking her so hard that she was sent reeling back. Chi Fengsu was infuriated, and she was about to curse that person when that person hastily said, Sorry, truly sorry, it was my mistake. Let me apologize to senior apprentice sister Chi. I hear the person was in the midst of apologizing. But as a result of stopping all of a sudden, he was struck by someone else moving forward, sending him staggering closer to Chi Fengsu. As a result, the scene became a bit chaotic. The disciple hastily reached out to grab the startled Chi Fengsu, reaching out for her butt. Long Chen saw it clearly and was infuriated at this bastard's shamelessness. Without any hesitation, he kicked that pervert on the butt. A cracking sound rang out as his tailbone shattered. A heart-wrenching screech rang out as he soared into the sky. What's going on? The elder's expression darkened, angered by the disturbance. This bastard wanted to take advantage of this lady. I found it disdainful. So I kicked him, said Long Chen indifferently. That's nonsense. The wretched man flying through the air landed on the ground. He was holding his buttocks and was in so much pain that he was drenched with cold sweat. This kick of Long Chen's was truly vicious. The power of the Azure Dragon was constantly racking this man's body, making it so that he couldn't heal. That elder coldly looked at that person and then at Long Chen. He shouted, there will be no further exceptions when Long Chen saw that elder's expression, as well as the wretched man cursing. His eyes narrowed slightly. People were somewhat surprised by this reaction. Causing a fuss was brushed off with just a word? Shouldn't the two of them be punished or at least harshly warned? They looked toward Long Chen. Could Man Bashan have some secret connection with Pill Valley? As for the wretched man, he cursed as he walked away, looking back to make a throat slitting gesture at Long Chen. But after being glared at by the elder, he obediently walked into the channel. Very quickly, Di Feng and the others all entered. Di Feng casually looked back at Long Chen, but he didn't say anything. After the ancient family alliance's experts walked in, the second batch was the Xuan Beasts. They had drawn the second lot. When these Xuan Beasts walked by, Long Chen saw Zhang Xianba glaring at him viciously. He said, Man Bashan, just wait. Once we're in the Brahma secret realm, I'll make you regret being born in this world. Fuck off. Long Chen slapped him in the face. The two of them were too close, and Zhang Xianba hadn't expected Long Chen to attack in front of the Pill Valley's elders. An explosive sound rang out as Long Chen threw his whole force behind this slap. Shang Xianba not only flew back, but the force knocked back the surrounding Xuan beasts as well. Hundreds of people tumbled back, causing chaos. Stop, shouted the elder furiously. 
When the dust settled, it revealed Long Chen standing in his original location, with Zhang Xianba lying in the distance, half his head caved in. The hundreds of Xuan beasts were lying on the ground as well. This infuriated all the Xuan beasts present as this was a slap to all of them. Hence, they took out their weapons, about to attack Long Chen when the elder shout stopped them. This man Bashan goes too far. I don't mind not entering the Brahma secret realm. I still have to kill him. The Xuan beast's pride cannot be trampled upon, roared one Xuan beast. The others agreed. Although not all of them were fully loyal to Pen Wanli, when a human bullied them, they were strangely united. The Xuan beast surrounded Long Chen. As long as one person gave the order, they would tear him to pieces. Everyone, calm down. I have a few things to say first. The elder looked at something in the sky and then smiled. It doesn't matter what you say. Man Bashan must die. Shang Shianba crawled and roared. That slap had been exceptionally vicious. It had almost crushed his head. You're wrong. He isn't Man Bashan. He is the one claimed to be the Martial Heaven Continent's strongest junior expert. The one who dominates other peak heavenly geniuses in the same realm. Well, am I right? The elder looked at Long Chen with a confident smile. Long Chen. He is Long Chen. All the experts were shocked. Even Zhang Xianba was stunned. As expected, he had been noticed. Long Chen smiled. He wiped his face, revealing his true appearance. At the same time, his aura changed from Man Bashan's aura. Big brother Long Chen. Qi Xuan let out a startled cry as she hadn't expected Long Chen to really come. However, she immediately turned pale. She knew that there was no escaping from here with so many experts present and considering that this was the core of Pill Valley. Chi Fengsu couldn't help sighing deeply. She didn't know why Long Chen would do such a thing. Was this any different than sending himself to his death? She wanted to save him, but she didn't have the ability. Long Chen. Ha ha ha. I didn't think that you would actually come. Let's see just how you escape today. Ziluo couldn't help laughing. His aura erupted as he prepared to fight. If it weren't for me being busy last time, I would have killed you already. A defeated person doesn't have the right to speak. Long Chen glanced at Ziluo indifferently. Long Chen, you're quite arrogant. Today, let me, Len Wufang, test just how strong you are. From amongst the crowd, a man walked forward. Long Chen had seen him on his way here. The light of the sword Dao hung around him and thousands of sharp swords were surging within the light around him. It's the blood spirit sword sects Len Wufang. People whispered, recognizing this person. He came from a neutral sect the blood spirit sword sect hadn't made an appearance on the martial heaven continent in many years. Now that they reappeared, only a few people knew of them. It would be best if you didn't. Anyone who attacks me will be viewed as my enemy. If you want to attack me, you should be prepared to die first said Long Chen. Haha, <laughs> truly arrogant. You're already a trapped turtle, yet you can still say such a thing, laughed Len Wufang. The light around him began to sharpen. Wait, Long Chen suddenly raised a hand. What? Are you finally afraid? Is your fame all fake? Sneered Len Wufang. Long Chen frowned. You should be a sword cultivator. Sword cultivators are arrogant, not out of pride but out of confidence. However, it can't be out of overconfidence. Based on what a fool you are, it's clear you've never suffered before. If you had encountered me earlier, you would have become a better person. Long Chen's words were definitely arrogant. However, they could not be called inappropriate either because he had the qualifications to be arrogant. Those qualifications were earned through his battles in the past few years. Whether they were his enemy or not, everyone had to agree that the name of the Eastern Madman suited him. Arrogance Len Wufeng's eyes grew cold, and he suddenly took out a translucent sword. Not only was it hard to track with the naked eye, but it was even difficult to sense spiritually. Despite being right there, it was almost impossible to sense it. Once it was attacking, who could block its attack trajectory? Quite a few experts were shaken. They had truly entered the Great Era. All kinds of monsters were being born, each more monstrous than the last. The other experts retreated. They wished to see just how powerful Len Wufeng was to dare to challenge Long Chen. Although the power he was showing was very strong, not one person thought that he could beat Long Chen. In their minds, 
there might not be anyone in their generation who could defeat Long Chen alone. The concept of Long Chen being unrivaled within the same realm was firmly imprinted in their hearts. In fact, many people were wondering just how many people would be accompanying Long Chen to his death here today. Those people retreated especially far, other than those with great confidence. No one would dare to face Long Chen directly. Even Zi Luo retreated, afraid of being the first unlucky fellow to be targeted by Long Chen. Many people wanted to defeat Long Chen to wrest away his current glory. The main thing was that no matter how great that glory was, their lives were more important. The ones who could come here were all monstrous geniuses. However, other than Leng Wufang, no one went forward to fight. As for the fact that Leng Wufang dared to challenge Long Chen, no one praised his bravery. In truth, they sneered at him for his rashness. He was giving others a chance to see Long Chen's power. Long Chen didn't even look at Leng Wufeng who was in his attack posture. Toward the elder of Pill Valley he asked, How did you recognize me? The elder laughed. Long Chen, although you are Pill Valley's enemy, I have to admire your courage. You really dared to come here. In truth, we knew you had come the instant you entered Pill Valley. To prevent what happened last time, we imprinted your spiritual fluctuations into the Grand Formation. Your disguise was excellent though and we couldn't tell who you were, but we knew you had come. Only then did Long Chen realize that because of the matter of Long San, Pill Valley had made some new preparations. Considering how much he fought in public, Pill Valley was definitely capable of recording his spiritual fluctuations. Each cultivator's spiritual fluctuations were different. Long Chen's spiritual strength was extremely strong and special, so it wasn't strange that they could sense it. However, while they had sensed it, it hadn't been good enough for them to pinpoint where he was. That was because his spiritual fluctuations were disguised with manbations. Although a trace of his own spiritual fluctuations had leaked out, it was too small and dispersed for them to track. Moreover, to find his specific spiritual fluctuations amongst a crowd of million experts? Impossible. This made Long Chen's guard rise. In the future, when he disguised himself as someone else, he would have to fully seal his spiritual strength. The elder said, The first time we suspected who you were was when that faker was killed. Your expression was too calm at that moment. However, it was just a suspicion, and we couldn't be sure. So, you sent that pervert to test me. Long Chen nodded with a faint smile. When Long Chen said this, Chi Fengsu's expression completely changed. She also understood and was filled with fury. Despicable. She shouted at the elder. This was clearly a trap targeted for Long Chen, because Long Chen knew Qi Xuan, who was like a child. He definitely wouldn't let her be taken advantage of by such a pervert. The fact that Long Chen hadn't killed him was already great restraint. If it was Manbation, considering his own perverted tendencies, he would have only watched with a smile. He definitely wouldn't have saved her. As a result, Long Chen's identity was completely exposed. Pill Valley had actually used her little sister to test Long Chen. This was an absolute humiliation to Chi Fengsu. This enmity will be remembered by the heaven-reaching ancient castle. Pill Valley. Well done. Chi Fengsu shuddered with rage and killing intent. As for Chi Xuan, she still didn't understand what had happened or why her big sister was so angry. Miss Fengsu, don't listen to Long Chen's nonsense. He is merely trying to sow dissension said the elder indifferently Novaloon.com Who do you think Long Chen is? Would he care about sowing dissension between us? Not everyone is as despicable as Pill Valley. The heaven-reaching ancient castle is retreating from the Brahma secret realm. Although we might not be some heaven-shaking power, we won't allow ourselves to be humiliated like this. Following Chi Fengsu's words, 30-some disciples came to stand by her. Those disciples of the heaven-reaching ancient castle all had furious expressions. Pill Valley had gone too far this time. Chi Xuan was actually extremely talented at cultivation, but when it came to her soul, she had an innate deficiency, limiting her intelligence. They viewed her as a child and doted on her. For Pill Valley to do something like this to a handicapped person? HMPH. Inverting right and wrong. It was just a test, and it drew out this devil. Long Chen, what's wrong with it? You can't even sacrifice this much? 
It's not like your little sister actually lost her one of the ancient race experts had opened his mouth only for Long Chen to send a lightning arrow through his head before he finished speaking. He collapsed. Dead. If you want to help a dog eat shit, I won't oppose you. But you should take note of the setting. When my mood's not good, I might just end up taking your life if you don't eat it properly. Said Long Chen indifferently. That attack was so quick that no one could react to it. There wasn't the slightest warning or killing intent. A powerful Empyrean was slain with just a wave of Long Chen's hand, causing the other experts to retreat even further. Big Brother Long Chen, thank you. Qi Xuan suddenly ran over to Long Chen's side. What are you thanking me for? This matter was my fault. I'm the one who implicated you. I'm sorry. Long Chen tenderly rubbed Qi Xuan's head, comforting her like a big brother. Big brother, you. Qi Xuan was about to speak, but she was interrupted when a gentle force came from Long Chen's hand, sending her back to Qi Feng Su. Now wasn't the time for them to speak. He turned back to the elder of Pill Valley. Where is Yu Ziaoyan? Why hasn't he come? You think a little life star disciple like you is worth disturbing the valley master? People say you're smart, but in my eyes, you're only at this level, sneered the elder. At the very least. You've made three fatal mistakes. Oh? So many? Then I want to hear what they are, said Long Chen with some faint interest. All right then. In any case, you can't run, and I'm in no rush. First and most obvious mistake. You shouldn't have come to Pill Valley. I suppose I can tell you the truth. When we recorded your spiritual fluctuations, our main goal was to find your location. Since Heavenly Fate Island is gone. It's very difficult to confirm your position. So we were making long-distance sensing tools to find you based on your spiritual fluctuations. These tools aren't complete yet. But when you arrived here, they suddenly sensed you. We actually thought that they were mistaken. But over a hundred of them sensed your spiritual fluctuations at once. So we were sure you had truly come. Long Chen nodded. I was truly careless. I admit to that. However... The reason you're trying to sense my position probably isn't limited to just that. Long Chen looked closely at the elder's expression. As expected, there was a trace of shock that was quickly covered up. From that, Long Chen was sure that the reason why they were making those tools wasn't to find him but the original devil race. They wanted to use him to find the original devil race's lair. After all, Long Chen could walk the continent openly now, and they couldn't touch him. There was no point in such a thing unless it was for this. The elder didn't directly reply. Instead, he continued. Your second mistake was that after exposing a clue at the start, you didn't immediately run. If you had run at that time, you would have had some chance to get away. After all, that was the outer regions and they had weaker defenses. But you missed that chance. Your third mistake was that you fully exposed yourself to save that girl. I was watching you the entire time. You clearly hesitated. That means you knew it was a trap but still decided to take the risk. Throwing yourself deeper and deeper into a hole. After saving her, you should have immediately tried to flee. Then there would have been the slightest chance you could have escaped. However, you didn't. Instead continuing to stay here. But even I don't know why you suddenly attacked Zhang Shianba. Were you worried I wouldn't notice that you were Long Chen? Hearing that. People looked at Long Chen suspiciously. They were truly unable to wrap their heads around this. I didn't want to either, but he simply took the initiative. When he stretched out a head bigger than a butt at me, I couldn't control myself. Long Chen shrugged, his expression so helpless that it made Zhang Shianba roar with fury. Zhang Shianba had an urge to charge over right now and attack, but after learning that Man Bashan was Long Chen, he didn't dare to. Long Chen's name was just too great. Long Chen, do you know why I'm in no rush to attack? Asked the elder indifferently. Long Chen smiled and pointed at the sky. Runes were slowly forming there. Because you are stealthily activating the grand formation. Once its barrier is condensed, then even if the entire Martial Heaven Alliance charged over, they wouldn't be able to save me. Right. The elder's smile slowly vanished as he vaguely sensed something off. Long Chen seemed to know about everything. A faint sense of unease began to grow within him. Long Chen clasped his hands behind him. Smiling at the elder, he said, I've never said that I'm smart. To tell the truth, 
I'm not too used to using my brain to resolve problems. However, I'm also not a fool. Just because I don't like using my head doesn't mean that I don't have a brain. Old fellow, your little tricks aren't special in front of me. You don't have the qualifications to act wise in front of me. Well, to tell the truth, with your little brains, I beat you with a single toe. Remember this, the goal isn't to play with you, it's to play you to death. Well, after saying so much, my throat's dry. I'm going to leave first and there's no need for you to send me off. In any case, I'll return. Leaving? Ha ha ha. The elder laughed like he had heard a huge joke. The dual divine chain formation has already been fully activated. It uses the god power of the divine statues. Let alone you. Even a nether passage expert of the fourth step wouldn't be able to escape from here. Do you think that you can? Long Chen cried in shock. Even a nether passage expert of the fourth step. Someone in control of Samsara energy. Said to be able to reverse the cosmos and destroy heaven and earth can't escape from here. But. I feel that I can. Just as people thought that Long Chen was finally afraid. His last sentence almost made them cough up blood. Qi Xuan, with her childish nature, almost laughed. The elder also laughed, but his was a furious laugh. Good, then let me see just how you will leave. None of my Pill Valley's experts even need to do anything. We'll just watch how you fight this many of the continent's heroes. Aren't you claimed to be unrivaled within the same realm? Today, I'll watch how that legend shatters. Len Wufeng of the Blood Spirit Sword Sect let out a cry, his translucent sword suddenly attacking. Long Chen, face your death. Long Chen sneered, you and I have no enmity, so why do you want to kill me? When my saber cuts off your head, hopefully, you'll remember that you provoked me first. Long Chen didn't look at Len Wufeng's sword. He didn't even seem to look at Len Wufeng. He just stood there. That icy disdain stunned everyone. Had Long Chen really reached the point where he could completely ignore Len Wufeng? As for Len Wufeng, he was even further infuriated at this disdain. As his sword was about to strike Long Chen, Long Chen suddenly raised a single finger at him. Scram! Long Chen's shout was like thunder, and a powerful aura suddenly caused Len Wufeng to retreat in shock. His sword unleashed thousands of rays of light that formed a thick barrier in front of him. Just as everyone thought that Long Chen was about to unleash the dying struggle of a trapped beast, all he did was say a single word and point at Len Wufeng. He didn't attack at all. With just a point and a shout, Len Wufeng had fled in terror and summoned his strongest defense. It was both shocking and laughable. With just this little bit of courage, you dare to challenge me? Go back and train for another 500 years, sneered Long Chen. As he said this, People realized that something was off. His previous shout had contained immense dragon might that had deeply shaken them. But afterward, runes began to appear on his body. Those runes began to rumble. No, that's not his true body. It's just a clone, exclaimed one expert suddenly. As for the elder from Pill Valley, he couldn't believe his eyes. It had clearly been Long Chen's true body. When had it become a clone? Long Chen, die. Len Wufeng was infuriated. He had actually almost pissed himself for a clone. His sword slashed toward Long Chen. Want to kill this clone of mine? Give up. You don't have the courage. Sneered Long Chen. Boom. Long Chen's body exploded. Transforming into arcs of lightning that faded away. Everyone was silent. What is going on? Pill Valley's elder no longer appeared calm. He was completely dumbfounded. Infuriated. And panicked. Long Chen fooled everyone. He only sent a clone to test us. Sighed someone. No. What came was his true body. Said an extremely thin man. His true body? You call this a true body? Said the first person irritably. It was his true body at the start. But once the fighting started, it became a clone. Replied the thin man. Hearing that, everyone suddenly gasped. Understanding. Chi Feng Su sneered. When Long Chen kicked that pervert. He already knew something was up, which was why when he slapped Zhang Shianba, he then unleashed such an explosion of power to cover everyone's sight. My guess is that Long Chen condensed this lightning clone at that time, killed someone in the crowd, disguised himself, and left under his new identity. The odds of pulling off such a thing are normally very low. 
but with everyone's attention gathered on Long Chen's clone and Zhang Xianba, then adding in the chaos at the time, Long Chen easily escaped. It's quite laughable that certain people thought that victory was already in their grasp and intentionally stalled for more time without realizing that the real Long Chen had long since left. Remember what Long Chen said? The goal isn't to play with you, it's to play you to death. This trip to Pill Valley wasn't a waste. Thank you for the great show. Goodbye. After saying that, Chi Fengsu pulled Chi Xuan over to leave along with the rest of the heaven reaching ancient castle's disciples. However, they found their path barred by a group of experts from Pill Valley. What? If we're not loyal to Pill Valley, you'll kill us? Even being neutral is no good. Hu sneered Chi Fengsu. The elder's expression sank. He was filled with killing intent and rage. He had been completely duped by Long Chen. And now Chi Fengsu was taunting him in front of so many people. However, he still retained some brains and waved his hand at those experts. Having them back away. Chi Fengsu and the others left peacefully. Grand Elder Shiangxi, Long Chen can't have escaped. Our formation has already sealed the surroundings whispered one elder. He didn't run. He entered the Brahma secret realm, said Grand Elder Shiangxi. This elder was actually one of Pill Valley's grand elders. With that kind of status, it had been many years since he had been forced to handle such mundane affairs. However, this time... He had been completely fooled by Long Chen. Everyone, you've also seen just how crafty Long Chen is. The Brahma secret realm only has one exit, which is here in Pill Valley. Although he has fled inside, he's still trapped. He won't be able to escape our grasp. However, now you'll need to be careful in the Brahma secret realm. Be clear on just how vicious Long Chen is. The only good thing is that he doesn't have a barrier-breaking bead and so he can't enter the core region. Even if he steals one of those beads from someone else, it would be useless because the power of the gods lies within the beads. As an enemy of Pill Valley, the bead would automatically explode if he tried using it. Even if it doesn't kill him, he'll end up covered in dirt. So you should make sure to protect your barrier-breaking beads, because without them, you might not be able to escape him, said the elder. He ordered people to continue distributing the barrier-breaking beads. The experts who received them walked into the channel. Perhaps at first they had been excited, but now knowing that a demon like Long Chen was inside, their hearts trembled. As for the experts in charge of handing the barrier-breaking beads over, they didn't dare to make a noise because they had just made a grave mistake. They were closely defending the barrier-breaking beads. But just now a certain person had come over to them and walked into the channel. They had carelessly given him a bead. When they thought back to it, that person had to be Long Chen. With their attention drawn by his clone, they hadn't even hesitated to give him one. They didn't mention this. HMPH. Who cares about Long Chen? Once I'm inside, I'll cut off his head. Sneered Len Wufang. Taking a barrier-breaking bead and walking in, the others looked at him disdainfully but they didn't say anything. Long Chen was able to scare him away with just a pointing of his finger. Yet he still dared to say such big words? Did he even believe himself? Long Chen, just wait. Once my manifestation is fixed, you'll be the first one I kill, said Zhang Xian hatefully. If he were to go looking for Long Chen, it would be no different than looking for death right now. All his hopes lay in finding something to restore his manifestation in the Brahma secret realm. The other experts entered one by one. However, some of them were clearly struggling with a certain decision. With Long Chen inside, it was like a tiger had been released. While they were all sheep, that feeling was terrifying. However, with everyone else entering, those experts also clenched their teeth and entered, praying that they didn't encounter Long Chen. Elder Shiangxi. Shouldn't we alert the valley master? Asked one of Pill Valley's elders quietly. We cannot. The birth of the divine daughter has caused a divine blessing to descend onto her father as well. He is currently breaking through his shackles with that blessing. We cannot distract him. Said Elder Shiangxi. Then what about Long Chen? Asked the elder worriedly. What are you so worried about? Having entered the Brahma secret realm, Long Chen will probably die. If he encounters the Divine Daughter, he'll definitely die. What mortal genius could contend with the Divine Daughter? Furthermore, it's not a bad thing that he got in. 
It applies more pressure on the others to enter the core region. We'll gain more supporters. The day that we dominate the continent grows ever closer. Elder Shiangxi smiled. Despite having been fooled by Long Chen, it seemed that he had found his confidence once more. What about the heaven-reaching ancient castle? Are we really going to just let them off like this? Probed the elder. The formation had yet to be dispelled. No one could leave. Let them go. Now isn't the time to teach them their lesson. Once we control the entire continent, can't we just crush whoever we want? Said Elder Shiangxi indifferently. The other elders nodded and left. Without Edler Shiangxi's approval, they couldn't deactivate the formation. Only with this approval could Chi Fengsu and the others leave Pill Valley's territory. Long Chen, it doesn't matter how many tricks you have, you won't be leaving alive. Once the others had all scattered, Elder Shiangxi clenched his teeth furiously. That calm confidence of his had actually just been a front. They all said that they felt the Grand Dao here. Why don't I feel anything? Long Chen walked through the channel, entering a new world. However, the closeness of the Grand Dao that the others had felt was nowhere to be seen for him. Long Chen's original plan was to speed away upon arriving, but he suddenly had a thought. He ran back to the channel and calmly waited there, as expected. After a bit, one expert after another walked in. This time, it was no longer people from the Xuan Beasts but every single faction. As for the whole drawing lots to see who would enter first, that was all nonsense. They had just been stalling for time. With Long Chen already in, they no longer had to do that. So everyone was slowly entering. When those experts walked in, they were filled with great hopes and expectations. But upon seeing Long Chen waiting for them, their hearts sank. Oh, how are you? Greeted Long Chen. Heavens, have my eyes stopped working? Those experts let out startled cries. Long Chen, what are you doing? Demanded someone from the ancient races. This road was opened by me. These trees were planted by me. If you want to pass, leave behind the toll fee first. If someone wants to cheat me, well, I'm only in charge of killing, not burying bodies. Long Chen rested Evil Moon on his shoulder lazily. He had an evil smile on his face. What the disciples couldn't believe their ears. What? You don't understand? I'm robbing you. Now do you get it? My pocket's been embarrassingly empty lately. So I need some side business to make up for it. After all, I have a big family and so many people to feed. It's hard on me. I have no other choice. So I have to do this work to get some money. Said Long Chen with an evil chuckle. Long Chen, for better or worse, you are a peerless heavenly genius. How can you do such shameless business? Raged an ancient race expert. Me, shameless? You have yet to see me when I'm shameless. Either hand over the money, or scram. Long Chen swung Evil Moon, unleashing a powerful gust. Bastard, you're going too far. You actually want to rob us? Everyone, kill him, roared one of the Xuan beasts, taking the lead and charging forward. However, before he could even charge out of the channel, he was slain with a simple slash of Long Chen's saber. Even his Yuan spirit didn't escape. The other experts' expressions changed. They found that their power was severely limited within the channel. This spatial channel has its own laws. To prevent it from being broken, it suppresses heavenly Tao energy. In other words, you are unable to absorb heavenly Tao energy to support your attacks inside. You'll have to accept the fact that even 10,000 of you together wouldn't be able to get past me. He, so you should be obedient. I'm not too evil. I'll only take 10 million spirit crystals as my toll said Long Chen. 10 million. Why don't you go rob someone for that amount? Exactly. I'm robbing you right now. Let me put it clearly. If you don't pay up, don't even think of entering. The Brahma secret realm will only be open for a set amount of time. Once time's up, it will close. As for me, I have plenty of time, so I can wait it out. Long Chen took out a chair and sat at the exit of the channel. He stabbed Evil Moon into the ground beside him. Those experts were infuriated. They were being robbed? Something like being robbed existed only in stories for them. Every one of them was a powerful Empyrean. Anywhere they went, they were treated with great reverence. Bastard, we won't let you do as you please. We have money, but we're not giving it to you, roared one of the ancient race disciples. Up to you. 
In any case, I'm only here for a look. I can't enter the core region. There's nothing for me to fear. If you want to wait, I'll wait. Long Chen's lazy appearance infuriated those experts even more. More and more experts appeared within the channel, with the people at the back not knowing what was going on. Two experts were forced out of the channel by the pushing. But when Long Chen raised Evil Moon, the two of them immediately cried out in terror and fled back inside. As the news spread to the back, an uproar erupted. They immediately reported this matter to Pill Valley. When Pill Valley's people heard this, they couldn't believe their ears. Long Chen was actually forcing people to pay a fee to enter their Brahma secret realm? Had he gone crazy from poverty? Just how did his head work? Long Chen, can you have the slightest sense of shame? What do you mean by this path was opened by you? These trees were planted by you. This is Pill Valley's secret realm. It has nothing to do with you. HMPH. When I passed through here, I kicked away a stone that opened the path, sneered Long Chen. Then what about planting trees? I just planted some seeds and pissed on them so they can grow up healthy. They'll be shooting out of the ground in just a few years. If you don't believe me, you can come and take a look in a few years. Long Chen, have some shame. This is just reality. When I treat you reasonably, you act shamelessly to me. When I act shameless, you act like some saints. It doesn't matter. In any case, if you want to pass, you have to pay up. However, the money you pay isn't just for using my path. It also comes with some protection, said Long Chen. What are you talking about? Having taken your money, I would be embarrassed to take the initiative to attack you. So for the rest of the Brahma secret realm, as long as you don't attack me, I won't view you as enemies. After all, how could I treat my customers so badly, said Long Chen. Hearing that, people were enticed. If they paid this money, they wouldn't need to worry about Long Chen attacking them. That would remove the greatest threat. But 10 million is too much. My sect has a dozen people, said one person. Long Chen looked at him and found that he was from a neutral power. Neutral disciples can get a discount. You only have to pay a million. The neutral experts were delighted by this. As supreme experts, they definitely had the ability to pay 10 million spirit crystals. But that still was a painful price. On the other hand, a million wasn't that much. I'll pay. One of the neutral camp's experts suddenly walked forward. Bastard, can't you have some backbone? As soon as that person stepped forward, he received a torrent of curses, mostly from the ancient races, Xuan beasts, and the corrupt path. Long Chen might be giving a discount to the neutral experts but not them. This first person paying up would only start a chain reaction. As if he didn't hear the cursing, the man walked over to Long Chen and handed over a spatial ring. Long Chen saw a neat million spirit crystals inside. He, thanks boss. Long Chen accepted the money with a bright smile. He used what he had learned from the Huaian sect, maintaining a grateful attitude to anyone who gave him money. The man was startled by that attitude. He laughed. To be called boss by the number one expert of the junior generation, these spirit crystals weren't wasted. If you like it, how about I call you boss twice for another million, said Long Chen. How was Long Chen a supreme expert? He seemed more like a money grubber. Some people even wondered if this person was really Long Chen. It couldn't be that he was a fake, right? The man shook his head and flew away. This place was the Brahma secret realm. Each moment wasted was an opportunity or lucky encounter that he might lose out on. The experts still in the channel were no longer able to hold back. Some people had already entered the Brahma secret realm before them and were searching for the priceless treasures that they wanted to obtain. They couldn't wait. Another expert stepped forward and handed over a spatial ring to Long Chen before leaving. Then more and more people came forward, holding back their anger. Haha, <laughs> many thanks. I wish you all good fortune in the Brahma secret realm. Long Chen happily accepted all their money, looking infatuated with his newfound wealth. The image of a supreme and vicious expert was wiped away from people's minds. Hold it, come one by one. Hey, little fellow. Who do you think you are? You're from the ancient family alliance. Long Chen suddenly grabbed one of them. That person was no longer wearing robes of the ancient family alliance. Disguising himself as someone from the neutral camp. He had tried to save some money. 
then I'll make up the 9 million, being exposed, that person could only suppress his anger and hand over more money, make up for it, are you trying to dupe me, the cost of trying to fool me is 10 times the original price, I won't take the original toll, just hand over your punishment fee, Long Chen's expression darkened, the way his amicable air transformed was faster than the turning of a page, you, Evil Moon suddenly swung up and pressed against that person's neck. His hair stood on end as a sensation of death enveloped him. Only now did people confirm that this was the true Long Chen, not some random bandit. Are you paying or not? demanded Long Chen frostily. I'll pay. I'll pay. However, that man then said, but I don't have so many spirit crystals. If you don't have the money, you can pay with treasures. If you have no treasures, then you can pay with your life. Up to you. My tiny little business can't accept IOU's Long Chen made Evil Moon twitch, causing that person to jump in terror. In the end, he handed over 7 million spirit crystals, as well as a half-step divine item to make up for the remaining spirit crystals. After accepting his money, Long Chen's bright smile instantly reappeared. Many thanks, boss. Hopefully, I can encounter some more good clients like you. Hearing that, some other experts that had already disguised themselves as being from the neutral camp quietly took off their disguises. Big brother, here is my money. Suddenly, a woman came out of the crowd and handed over a spatial ring to Long Chen. It was a young lady who only looked to be 16 years old. She possessed a strange charm to her. Her skin was pale white and her eyes were large. There was a nine-tailed mark on her forehead. This was someone from the ancient race's nine-tailed demon fox race. The nine-tailed demon fox had vanished from the Xuan beasts, but some of their bloodlines still flowed amongst the ancient races. The nine-tailed demon fox's combat power wasn't the greatest. Their fame lay in the overwhelming beauty of their people. Both their men and women possessed a natural charm that was difficult to resist. Rumor was that their bewitching arts were incredible, but as for how incredible they were or how they were used, no one knew. Now, this woman with the mark of the nine-tailed demon fox came shyly to Long Chen. She didn't know whether to toss the spatial ring to Long Chen or hand it to him directly. What amazing bewitching arts! exclaimed Long Chen suddenly. The lady immediately turned pale with terror. I didn't that's enough. You win. Your bewitching arts are too great. I admit defeat. Not just you. Any female cultivators can pass for free. But just a reminder. Don't try to dress up as a woman to trick me, or I'll make sure you'll never be a man again, warned Long Chen. This woman actually hadn't used any bewitching arts against him. She didn't dare to, but Long Chen found that he couldn't rob this innocent lady. As for her bewitching arts, it was just an excuse. The female cultivators were delighted by this news and charged forward. Many thanks. Some of the women didn't forget to thank Long Chen as they flew off. Thank you. Only now did the woman from the nine-tailed demon fox race react. All right, you can go. I still have more business to take care of. Long Chen didn't say much to her. Although she was beautiful, he already had so many peerless beauties at home. She looked closely at Long Chen for a moment before leaving. As for Long Chen, he became busy with work again. Noveloon.com Here's 10 million. Take it. An ancient race expert tossed a spatial ring to Long Chen. Hold it. For you, it's 30 million. Long Chen suddenly raised Evil Moon and blocked his path. Why? Because didn't you say that you had a lot of money? Since you have so much, you have to pay a bit more. Your words before were quite irritating. My heart's hurt, so I need some more money to heal it, said Long Chen. You, fine, just wait. That person clenched his teeth and tossed another spatial ring to Long Chen. This ancient race expert was the one who had said that he had plenty of money but wasn't giving any to Long Chen. Knowing he had offended Long Chen, he had covered up his face and hidden behind someone at the back, hoping that Long Chen would forget him, but Long Chen had still recognized him. Many thanks for your business, boss. That person's malicious gaze made Long Chen smile. Now he understood why the Huai insects people could always greet others with a smile. They weren't greeting people. They were greeting the money. Many thanks. Thank you. It's my first time. So please forgive me for my inexperience if you're dissatisfied with anything. Please tell me. I'll definitely improve things next time. 
Even as he accepted money, Long Chen's mouth didn't stop. His words only further enraged people. Wow, isn't this the great hero Zhang Shianba? You're too big. Your weight will damage the road. You should pay at least 30 times more than others. But since I've just opened my business, I'll give you a discount. You'll just have to pay 50 million. Please don't try to bargain with me. I really don't make enough money to lower my price, said Long Chen upon seeing Zhang Shianba. What surprised him was that Zhang Shianba very happily parted with his money. He didn't say a word as he handed over a spatial ring. From behind Zhang Shianba came Len Wufang. He tossed a spatial ring at Long Chen. Long Chen, even if you're getting money now, you won't be able to spend it. Long Chen received it and saw the spirit crystals packed inside. He smiled. There's no need for you to worry about it. I was originally thinking of taking a bit more from you, but I know you'll come find me in the future, so it doesn't matter how much I take today. Long Chen's meaning was that in any case, Leng Wufeng would come to him either way. Once Long Chen killed him, his money would be his, so it didn't matter. You're right, Long Chen. I definitely will come to find you, but not right now. Leng Wufeng snorted and left. Long Chen sneered. Len Wufeng wanted to search through the secret realm first instead of wasting time here. The other thing was that in order to challenge Long Chen, Len Wufeng needed to be in his peak condition. Having been scared away by just a clone, his mental state was not perfect right now. For a clash between two experts, the slightest thing could affect the conclusion. But in any case, there were still plenty of people waiting inside the channel to get through. He was near the front and would be reaching the depths of the secret realm earlier. Long Chen, don't you think you're going too far? For a bit of money, you're offending everyone. Many of us are not your enemy, but you're forcing us, said Lu Zichuan. The Yun Yang sword sects Lu Zichuan. He was a very powerful existence. However, he was normally very low-key. Only a few people had ever seen him personally fight, but the rumors said that even Man Bashan had been defeated by him. Long Chen said, I trust that the majority of you are my enemies. I don't have the time to differentiate between you, so I'll only take a bit of money from each of you. If you're my enemy, taking this money will be right. If you're not my enemy, I'll repay this bit of money dozens of times in the future. The entire Martial Heaven continent knows my character, so stop wasting time. I'm really lacking money right now. Long Chen extended a hand indicating for the other party to shut up and hand over the money. Everyone was busy. All right then, since you've said that, there's nothing for me to rebut. Lu Zichuan tossed out a spatial ring. Long Chen took it. That's correct. People with no enmity with me can view this as an investment. As long as I don't die, this investment will come with a huge payoff. So there's no need to be resentful. As for my enemies, they have even less reason to be resentful. The fact that I'm not killing them right now is entirely thanks to the few innocent people here. 10 million spirit crystals to survive? Don't you think that it's worth it? Or do you feel like your lives aren't even worth 10 million spirit crystals? Putting it like this, Long Chen managed to dispel quite a bit of resentment toward him. Other than that, I should tell you that your barrier breaking beads don't have any god energy within them. So if you want to enter the core region, just enter. You'll know I'm not conning you because once I finish my business here, I'll also be entering the core region. If you're afraid, I'll be giving a demonstration at the time, said Long Chen. That's impossible. The experts refused to believe this. Don't believe his bullshit. He's just trying to get you in trouble. If you enter the core region and don't follow your promise in the future, you'll be cursed by the gods. Your future would be ruined. So don't fall for it shouted one of Pill Valley's disciples from the Flame Divine Palace. Long Chen merely said, It's not bullshit. You can simply use your own eyes. All right. Time is precious. So let's increase our efficiency. Everyone, hurry up. These experts handed over spirit crystals to him one by one. However, a change had occurred inside them. When comparing Long Chen's reputation with Pill Valley's reputation, which had recently been ruined, they felt that Long Chen would disdain lying to them about this. Pill Valley's true face had been revealed many times now. In fact, just now, to test Long Chen, they had set up an innocent girl. 
thinking of Pill Valley's nature, they wondered just what was truth and what was lies. Even before Long Chen had said this, many people had suspected the barrier breaking beads' abilities. When they had received the barrier breaking beads, they had only managed to sense some spatial energy fluctuations coming from within, as well as a trace of some foreign energy. They couldn't tell what that energy was, but they didn't think it was God energy. Yet, they also couldn't be sure about such a thing. Pill Valley's disciples now have to pay double. Don't cause a fuss. If you want to enter, then pay up. If not, then scram. Otherwise, die, said Long Chen frostily, looking at that disciple from the Flame Divine Palace. Count yourself vicious. That disciple almost exploded from rage. This secret realm belonged to Pill Valley, but to enter, he had to pay someone else? What kind of reasoning was this? But this unprecedented event in all of history was occurring to him. He still paid up. Elder Shiyanki had already said to avoid conflict with Long Chen if they could. In their eyes, Long Chen was a trapped bird. It was only a matter of time. Long Chen spent six hours accepting money. The amount he gained made flowers bloom in his eyes. He had never seen so much money. There were over a million experts, with female cultivators only taking up a tenth of them. He had too many spirit stones to count as well as other treasures from people who hadn't had enough spirit crystals to pay. There were medicinal pills, divine items, secret tomes, and all kinds of substitutes. This time, I really got rich. Robbing rich people really is the fastest way of getting rich, thought Long Chen to himself. After taking the final person's money, Long Chen cleared his throat, and toward the channel, he said, that old fellow from Pill Valley who thinks himself so smart. Many thanks. After saying that, not caring whether or not anyone had heard, he patted his butt and left. The channel didn't allow Nether Passage experts to enter. Hence, if that old fellow heard him, he would definitely start smashing furniture and cursing in rage. Thinking of that, Long Chen smiled. Long Chen, I find that your ability in courting death is unrivaled. This is my first time seeing someone like you who courts death all the time yet is still alive, said Evil Moon. TCH, if I didn't court death, would the heavens let me gain any opportunities? Courting death is the only way for me to obtain anything and survive, said Long Chen. His unrivaled ability in courting death only existed because he had no other choice. If he didn't risk death, where would he get what he needed to cultivate? If he couldn't cultivate he would have already died. The cultivation world was bloodier and crueler than the secular world. In the Phoenix Cry Empire, being bullied and oppressed was also not a rare sight, but it was not as direct as in the cultivation world. Flying through the air, Long Chen just happened to see a disciple from the ancient family alliance walk out of a cave. Upon seeing Long Chen, his expression completely changed. What? Did you not hear what I said? Long Chen shook his head and flew off. Seeing Long Chen leave, that disciple relaxed. He had just obtained something special in the cave, but it seemed Long Chen had no intention of taking it from him. The only two people nearby were him and Long Chen. With Long Chen's power, killing him would be as easy as swatting a fly, and no one would even notice. If it was another expert, they probably would have directly attacked. Seeing Long Chen leave, that disciple thought to himself that perhaps this was true pride. Long Chen had said that as long as they paid the money and didn't take the initiative to attack him, he wouldn't attack them. Long Chen saw quite a few experts searching through the surroundings as he flew by. However, they were disappointed by what they found. They were currently in a barren land. There were some caves and buildings, but most of those had been abandoned for countless years. Even any formation runes had lost effect. Boom. All of a sudden, the earth split open, and a terrifying flame dragon flew out, its golden flames igniting the air. A group of eight ancient race experts fled in terror. One of those ancient race experts was instantly incinerated by a wave of fire that the flame dragon spat out. The heaven incinerating flame. Long Chen was startled to see that flame dragon. He easily recognized its origin, as its aura was all too familiar. This was an earth flame spirit beast that had matured who knew how many years ago. He didn't know if those adventurers had released it or something else had occurred, but it was now chasing after them. 
the heaven incinerating flame was said to be able to burn all things in heaven and earth. This earth flame spirit beast was fully matured, and even life star Empyreans had to flee in front of it. Get out of the way. I'll help you suppress it. Long Chen shot toward it. In truth, he was being completely shameless by saying this. He had already noticed that the earth flame spirit beast had turned toward him, having sensed the flame fluctuations coming out of his body. Earth flame spirit beasts devoured each other to get stronger. They were natural enemies. That flame dragon was already ignoring the others. Just as it was preparing to charge over to Long Chen, Long Chen took the initiative to attack it, making it look like he was saving them. The flame dragon let out a heaven-shaking roar, and its flame surged toward Long Chen. As for the ancient race experts, they had been running for their lives. The heaven incinerating flame was too terrifying, and it incinerated even their divine items, while their attacks were unable to cause any damage to it. For Long Chen to appear now, he looked to be their savior. They almost wept. Those ten million spirit stones hadn't been spent for nothing. Long Chen punched out, and a black wave of flame smashed into the flame dragon's head. The black and golden flames began to clash, and the ancient race experts were sent tumbling back. Everything on their bodies turned to ashes, while their bodies were burned black and smelled chaired. They hastily circulated their heavenly Tao energy as they crawled up, only to find that a terrifying fire poison had invaded their bodies. If they didn't erase it, it would burn away their very souls. Long Chen hadn't been holding back with his punch. This flame dragon was just that powerful. He sent it reeling back, while it was still recovering. A giant flame dragon flew out of Long Chen. Coiling around this flame dragon, Long Chen formed hand seals and space shook. The two flame dragons vanished together. They reappeared in the primal chaos space. The wild heaven incinerating flame instantly went still, not daring to struggle. Huo Long excitedly devoured it. In just a few seconds, it was gone. Huo Long immediately started digesting its energy. That was a huge harvest for Huo Long. Many thanks. The ancient race experts hastily expressed their gratitude to Long Chen. The fact that they hadn't died was all thanks to Long Chen. Furthermore, seeing Long Chen subdue such a terrifying existence so easily, they could only feel great admiration for his power. You're too courteous. That flame dragon was useful to me. Even without you, I'd have to attack it. This time, Long Chen felt the slightest sense of shame and didn't say that he had attacked to save them. Senior apprentice brother, we might not be from the same side, but we feel great respect for you. Even if that flame dragon was useful to you, if you had just waited a few seconds, we would have been dead, and you could have killed it then. That would have been more profitable for you, said one of the ancient race experts. The others also nodded. It seems a few people of the ancient races are still easy to talk to, said Long Chen curiously. This was a bit different from the other times he had encountered members of the ancient races. The ancient race disciples exchanged a glance. One of them sighed. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, you don't know the inner workings of the ancient races. We have plenty of different views, and our internal disputes are much more intense than what you see. Are you busy? If you have time, I'd like to tell you some more about the ancient races. I'd like to hear that. Wait a moment Long Chen took out a formation disc and activated it. It enveloped them and they vanished from sight. This formation disc had been created by Xia Chen. It could temporarily conceal them. Other than a supreme formation grandmaster, people would have great difficulty noticing them. For amateurs, it was more than enough. Many thanks. Those ancient race disciples thanked him for this. If others saw them talking to Long Chen, it would bring them endless trouble. The disciple that had first spoken continued, Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen, the ancient races aren't as icily arrogant as you have seen. Some of us feel a sense of belonging to both the Xuan beasts and the human race, but the ones in power see the human race as weak and they are constantly fighting amongst themselves. Hence, as the era of the human race's sovereigns passed, the human race has declined in their view. That's why some of us look down on the human race and wish to rejoin the Xuan beasts. In truth, this is a foolish view. The majority of the ancient races know that this is a gamble. A gamble that risks the very survival of the ancient races. Originally, 
our position was very awkward. The human race didn't want us and neither did the Schwen beasts. That was fine. After all, we don't need to depend on others to survive. But others didn't think so. If the Schwen beasts had a fight against the human race, as long as we promptly joined the battle, we would benefit immensely, and the side that we helped out would have to show their gratitude to us. We couldn't waste that chance. It was Long Junkang who pushed that viewpoint. His side has been in contact with the Xuan Beasts for many years, but the Xuan Beasts have not fully accepted them. There are countless races amongst us. However, the number of powers amongst the ancient races that can contend with Long Junkang's forces can be counted on one hand. They are still waiting, not agreeing with Long Junkang, but not going against him either. They don't join in any fights because until the very end, they are not willing to take that risk. It is us, the ones from lower level races and powers that have it the hardest. We don't want to join the fight, but we're too weak to resist. Whenever there is a battle, we take the most losses, while the ones to benefit the most are always those who stand at the peak of the ancient races. I am telling you this not so that you pity us. I simply wish for you to know that we have our own troubles. I hope that your hatred toward the ancient races does not spill onto the innocent. If a war does start, I hope you can let those people off and not destroy us to the route that disciple actually knelt on the ground toward Long Chen, with the others following. They did not do this for themselves but for their people. What they were afraid of was a war with the ancient races stuck in the middle. If the human race won, then the one with the authority to make this decision would definitely be Long Chen. If Long Chen gave the order, the ancient races would vanish from this world. So there was a deep meaning behind their kneeling. With what little power they had, they wanted to preserve the slightest hope for the weaker members of the ancient races. Long Chen waved his hand, and a gentle force brought those people up before they could finish kneeling. He said, don't worry, even if all the ancient races stood by the Xuan beasts, I wouldn't exterminate you to your root. I only kill people who raise their weapons against me, even with sects that I have endless enmity with. I gave them a warning before destroying them, allowing the weaker ones to flee. Eliminating the roots is for those without power who are afraid that the survivors will come to find them for vengeance. If they come to find me for vengeance in this era, I will annihilate them with a wave of my hand. If they try to seek vengeance on my descendants after I die, and if my descendants can't even handle such a thing, then they aren't worthy of being my descendants anyway. So such a thing won't occur. Even Empyreans like you aren't worth me annihilating. So you should understand. Like I said, as long as you don't raise your weapons against me, I won't view you as my enemy. Hearing that, those disciples of the ancient races were delighted. They thought back to what they knew about Long Chen, and it truly was the case. Even when Long Chen had destroyed Heavenly Fate Island, he had given them a warning. If someone left after his warning, they would be fine. If they refused to leave, then they were courting death themselves and couldn't blame others. Heavenly Fate Island had schemed against Long Chen multiple times, even taking action against his family. If it was someone else, they wouldn't have given Heavenly Fate Island any chance to prepare. They would have directly destroyed it. But Long Chen hadn't done that. Many thanks, Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen. The ancient race disciples were grateful for this. No wonder Long Chen was claimed to be the number one figure of the junior generation. It wasn't just because of his peerless combat power but also this kind of bearing. No need to thank me. Go back and tell your people not to pick a side recklessly. They might lose their lives, said Long Chen. You should hurry and go now. Otherwise, if you are labeled traitors, you won't survive. Hearing that. Those disciples once more thanked Long Chen before leaving. As long as they maintained their neutrality, then whether Long Chen or Pill Valley won, they at least wouldn't be annihilated to the last. That was the only thing they wanted. When it came to warfare, those in power would benefit while paying the least, and the ones who suffered were always the weak. Disciples like them who came from lower ranking races didn't have many wild aspirations. It wasn't that they were better people, but that for them, there was no benefit to war. So living a quiet and peaceful life was all they wanted. As for Long Chen, he was very clear about this. This was not unique to the ancient races. The other races were about the same. The cultivation world was like a tower. 
with those standing at the peak reaping the most profit. As for those in the middle and lower levels, collectively, they possessed immense power. Pill Valley had taken special note of this and was trying to win their hearts. That was why the Brahma secret realm had been opened up to so many people. Long Chen started flying to the core region. However, the Brahma secret realm was even larger than he had expected. He spent a whole day before seeing a giant curtain of light in the distance. It was a barrier, a wall of light separating the inner and outer regions. Standing before it, Long Chen felt the energy of the Grand Dao. He saw thousands of experts around the giant light barrier, attuning themselves to that Grand Dao energy. Their manifestations rippled behind them. These people didn't want to use the barrier-breaking beads. If they used them, they would have firmly tied themselves to Pill Valley's side. As cultivators, they didn't want to become someone else's dogs. The light continued far into the distance. The people calmly cultivating in front of him were startled by his arrival. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Several neutral experts greeted him. No need to call me that. If you don't attack me, I'll have to return your money. Long Chen waved his hand with a smile. Those neutral experts smiled. Those who were cultivating here were people who didn't wish to join Pill Valley. That was too dangerous. As for Long Chen, he was vicious and domineering. But it seemed he wasn't an unreasonable killer like the stories made him out to be. Although the fact that Long Chen had taken their money had caused some resentment, Long Chen had promised not to attack them. That was the greatest safeguard. Other than that, he had said that those who weren't his enemies would be repaid many times this money. In their short contact with him, they had found that his words were worth their weight in gold. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen is joking. May I ask what plans you have? Probed a disciple from the ancient family alliance. Of course I'm going in. Pill Valley might be able to con others, but can they con me? Said Long Chen nonchalantly. But what if there really is a burst of God energy when the barrier breaking bead breaks? Then wouldn't we have to forever listen to Pill Valley? Asked one person. Ah, it seems that you still don't understand me. Long Chen suddenly took out a barrier breaking bead and crushed it. Once it was crushed, a pillar of light enveloped Long Chen. This light had the same fluctuations as the barrier. At the same time, an illusory eye appeared in the sky above him. Divine pressure exuded from the eye as it looked at Long Chen. This is the god's eye. Startled cries rang out. As expected, the barrier-breaking beads couldn't be randomly used. Long Chen pointed a finger and a flash of lightning appeared. The eye exploded. What the disciples were dumbfounded. Long Chen had destroyed the god's eye. Blaspheming the god. What god's eye? It was all a lie. Long Chen sneered, that I was just a smokescreen, something to apply mental pressure to people, making people follow orders by playing on their reverence for gods. There were over a million people here. Hence, Long Chen refused to believe that Pill Valley would be willing to spend so much precious god energy on these barrier-breaking beads. This guess of his ended up correct. That was an illusion, and the energy inside it only felt like god energy. Long Chen stepped through the light barrier stunning the experts. Was Pill Valley really just trying to scare them? Their hearts pounded hard, but just as some people were bravely about to test it as well, Long Chen suddenly walked back. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, you've all personally seen me enter now, but others didn't get to see it, so they might not have the courage to enter. That's why I want to test something. Long Chen took out a bronze disc it was a fragment of the eastern wasteland bell. He reached out and cut the barrier with the disc, and a huge opening actually appeared in the barrier. The air of the Grand Dao immediately poured out from the other side. It truly was as Pill Valley had said, that energy was several times denser inside the barrier than outside. The barrier attempted to heal, but there was a strange energy left on the opening, preventing it. The healing process was extremely slow. The Eastern Wasteland Bell is a legendary existence. Even a fragment of it possesses such power. Just what happened back then to make it fall into such a state, wondered Long Chen. He hadn't really expected this to succeed, but he was delighted to find that it worked. He immediately flew off, creating a giant opening in the barrier. The energy of the Grand Dao came pouring out of it, making the experts outside ecstatic. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, can we enter? Are you charging more money? 
These experts were delighted but still a bit apprehensive. No need. I'm not in the habit of charging more money after you've already paid. If you want to, you can spread word to your people. I will continue leaving dozens of these openings throughout the barrier, and they can enter without any misjivings, said Long Chen. Many thanks, senior apprentice brother Long Chen. I don't need your thanks. I have my own goals after all. There will sooner or later be a bloody battle between myself and Pill Valley. If you join Pill Valley, it will add pressure to my side. Now, since there's no need for you to be abducted by Pill Valley, we're both benefiting. After saying that, Long Chen flew off, leaving another giant opening. He quickly vanished from sight. Quick, alert our people. There's no need to spend any more time on the outer regions. Hurry and enter the core region. The great era has come. We can't miss out on this opportunity, or we won't even be able to protect ourselves. Those disciples hastily used their secret communication methods to spread the word. As a result, countless experts that were still searching in the outer regions charged over. Seeing the giant openings in the barrier, they couldn't believe their eyes. They harbored some suspicions, but then they saw people passing through easily, and more and more of their own people were telling them what had happened. Seeing the experts pouring into the core region, Long Chen smiled. Pill Valley's little scheme had been ruined. He wondered what kind of reaction Pill Valley's experts would have once their disciples told them what had happened. With a laugh, Long Chen finally got to his own business. He had taken this risk to enter the Brahma secret realm because it would decide whether or not he would survive the upcoming storm. Inside the core region, Long Chen was amazed. Even he was able to sense the heavenly Tao energy fluctuations in this place. He couldn't absorb it, but it seemed to be immensely beneficial to the other heavenly geniuses. It was quickening the rate at which their manifestations awoke. Good thing I came. If this many people were conned into joining Pill Valley's side, it really would be over. Long Chen sighed. If even half of these people ended up joining Pill Valley, it would be enough to trample over the continent that was ignoring just how strong they would be after the Brahma secret realm. If they awakened their manifestations, they would be even more terrifying. Even if their manifestations didn't fully awaken, they would have grown much stronger. The heavenly deos would assist them even more in combat. If even a few hundred of them succeeded in awakening their manifestations, that might be enough for Pill Valley to launch an immediate attack on the Martial Heaven Alliance. What a con. All the inheritances here are for Pill Valley's disciples. We can't even get in. Long Chen heard people cursing and that drew his attention. He then flew over and saw a group of a dozen disciples of the ancient family alliance. They were covered in blood and looked gloomy, standing over an altar. What's going on? Asked Long Chen. Those disciples were people he had just allowed in. They were very grateful to him, and so one of them immediately responded. This altar is a transportation formation that leads to an underground trial region. We risked our lives, managing to get to the end, but just as we were supposed to get the reward, the master of the trial said that since we weren't Pill Valley's disciples, it wouldn't give the reward to us. What a con. Those disciples all had ugly expressions. One of them in particular was pale, on the verge of collapsing. Your Yuan spirit is injured. You should hurry and eat this pill or your Yuan spirit will dissipate within three days. Long Chen flicked a medicinal pill to that disciple. That disciple hastily swallowed it. In the trial, his Yuan spirit had been gravely injured. He had also known this, but he had thought that he would be able to recover with his own abilities. Many thanks, senior apprentice brother Long Chen. After consuming the pill, the disciple felt a gentle energy nourishing his Yuan spirit, slowly healing it. I suppose that you don't need this trial then? If you don't need it, I'm going in to take a look, said Long Chen. We don't want it. Please, go ahead, said the disciple. They had almost died inside, but the reward had actually been held back and they had been transported out. If Long Chen wanted to enter, they naturally wouldn't argue. All right then, Long Chen walked onto the altar. A light flashed, bringing Long Chen underground. Do you think senior apprentice brother Long Chen can pass? Asked one disciple. Perhaps. After all, a monster on his level can't be judged by us. Ugh. If it weren't for D Long, we might be fighting alongside him. But now, 
There's a clear dividing line between us. Boom. Just a moment after Long Chen vanished, the ground rumbled. Those disciples jumped in shock. Cracking sounds appeared and the altar rocked intensely. Run. Those disciples' expressions changed. They had been planning on staying here until Long Chen came out, but now it seemed that such a thing would risk their very lives. Boom. The altar exploded and those disciples were blown back. They turned back, shocked. What is senior apprentice brother Long Chen doing? Rumbling continued to ring out. Meanwhile, the ground crumbled and exploded, shooting dust into the air. As for Long Chen, as soon as he entered the trial region, a mass of stone puppets attacked him. They were very powerful, and their auras were not weaker than ordinary Empyreans. With a snort, Long Chen blasted them apart with his fists. His punches were so powerful that the surrounding walls cracked and crumbled. Above ground, the altar shattered. This wasn't his home, so he didn't mind smashing it up. If it was up to him, he wouldn't leave anything valuable for Pill Valley. As he advanced, more of those stone puppets appeared. They grew stronger, but they were unable to stop him. He quickly reached the final part and stood before a giant palace. Its gate slowly opened when he arrived. Long Chen directly slashed apart the gates. Who has the time for you to open so slowly? Holding Evil Moon, Long Chen walked in. As soon as he was in, a pillar of golden light enveloped him from the roof. A mechanical voice rang out. You are not my disciple and cannot accept my inheritance. Hurry and leave Long Chen directly slashed apart the light beam. Who cares about your inheritance? Hurry up and hand over any treasures you have. Long Chen looked around. Evil Moon suddenly unleashed black light, tearing through the walls. Break. The palace resisted, with countless runes lighting up. However, it was still torn apart by Long Chen's slash. The walls crumbled, revealing cases, and Long Chen gathered them. Opening the first one, he found it was empty. Opening another, he found it was also empty. He opened 31 cases, and as a result, they were all empty. His expression darkened. He couldn't be this unlucky, right? Finally, in the final case, he found something. It was a bead surrounded by flames. It was pretty. Hey, Huo Long, let me see what it is. Long Chen had just taken out the bead when Huo Long flew out of his arm and devoured it. Huo Long returned to his primal chaos space, continuing to digest the flame energy it had previously absorbed from the Earth Flame Spirit Beast. Long Chen was speechless. Huo Long was a bit too impatient, wasn't it? It didn't even give him a chance to see what it was. But when he examined Huo Long, he found that its aura had grown stronger. After thinking about it, Long Chen concluded that the bead was an Earth Flame Spirit birthing bead. It was used to give greater spirituality to Earth Flame Spirit Beasts. Normally, Earth Flame Spirit Beasts were not very intelligent, and so they were more instinctual. Oftentimes, their instincts told them to devour their masters. But with greater intelligence, they grew closer to their masters. This kind of treasure was something he had only heard of but never seen before. It might look like nothing, but it was a treasure to Huo Long. After all, Huo Long's intelligence was extremely high, and as its intelligence grew, it would be able to work together with Long Chen even better. It was too bad that Long Chen's luck was terrible. He only obtained a single one of these beads. If he could obtain enough of them, Huo Long's intelligence would not lose out to humans. Long Chen flew out of the ground, unleashing a wave of dust. Those disciples of the ancient family alliance were in the distance, staring in shock at him. Long Chen had actually destroyed the underground trial. Long Chen nodded to those disciples and flew off. He quickly saw another group of dejected disciples gathered together. They were also disciples who had gone through a difficult trial only to be taken out when they reached the end. This group was unlucky, and several of their members had died inside the trial. Bastards from Pill Valley, how dare you con us like this? You left all the trials here to your own disciples. Good thing that we entered through the opening that Long Chen made, or we'd be stuck like this after swearing loyalty to them. As expected of such sinister people, they left all the good stuff to their own disciples while tricking us into entering those disciples were cursing amongst themselves. They had realized that this was a trap. If they had really used the barrier-breaking bead, just how terrible would it have been? 
Although Long Chen had said that they were fake and couldn't bind them, there was always a chance. That slightest chance could apply enough pressure to become a heart devil when they tried to advance to the nether passage expert, feeling a set of eyes staring at them the entire time to make sure they kept their oath. How could they possibly comprehend life and death? Thinking of that, they felt a burst of fear. Pill Valley was truly hateful. Just as they were cursing, they noticed Long Chen, senior apprentice brother Long Chen. What Long Chen hadn't expected was for this group of disciples who were members of the Xuan Beasts, to actually call him senior apprentice brother Long Chen. It seemed that just like the ancient races, the Xuan Beasts were not all the same. After all, there would always be good apples and bad apples. But with the bad apples in control, Long Chen had subconsciously thought of all the Xuan Beasts as bad. Long Chen asked them about this trial region, and just like last time, he smashed it apart. This time he was luckier and he obtained three earth flame spirit birthing beads and two flame attribute divine items. With a smile, Long Chen tossed the earth flame spirit birthing beads to Huo Long. Just as he was about to leave, one of the Xuan beasts called out to him, Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen, please wait. We know of many other similar regions. Do you want them? The ground exploded over and over again. Long Chen tore through the Brahma secret realm's trial regions destroying the trials and taking the final rewards. Those trials were supposed to give a single reward to anyone who passed before transporting them out. The remaining treasures were for others. But Long Chen ignored that rule, directly destroying the formations and taking the treasures. This Brahma secret realm was one of Pill Valley's inheritance lands. Everything here was man-made. However, for some reason, Pill Valley had lost control of it and only Life Star Disciples could enter now. As for those Life Star Disciples from Pill Valley, many of them were in the middle of the trials when Long Chen barged in, terrifying them. However, Long Chen didn't kill them, as he had said, having taken their money. As long as they didn't attack him, he wouldn't attack them. That didn't stop him from crushing hundreds of the trial regions. Those trial regions were told to him by other disciples who were filled with anger toward Pill Valley. If it hadn't been Long Chen, they might have fallen for their trap and be bound to their will. Telling Long Chen where Pill Valley's trial regions were didn't benefit them in the slightest, but seeing those trial regions be destroyed one by one allowed them to vent some of their rage. After passing on the information to Long Chen, the majority of the disciples chose to find a secluded place and calmly attune themselves to the Grand Tao that was present here. They hoped to awaken their manifestations quicker. After flipping through some of the trials, Long Chen started showing people what the rewards were. They were treasures only to Pill Valley's disciples. Outside of Pill Valley, they were essentially useless. As for that legendary 11th tier medicinal pill, it never appeared. It was just nonsense. He didn't find a hint of it. Pill Valley's con this time had been exposed by Long Chen. They had been hoping to draw a portion of these neutral experts to their side but now they had ended up offending them without having the so-called God's Oath to bind them. The chances of them ever joining Pill Valley in the future had sharply dropped. Long Chen's guess was that Pill Valley's goal had been to draw these people in, and when those people realized that all the good things here were kept from them, they would be forced to listen to orders thanks to the God's curse. Other than that, while the treasures here couldn't be obtained by them, there was the energy of the Grand Tao present that helped them awaken their manifestations. And afterward Pill Valley could always give some further compensation to calm their anger. After all, they would have already sworn the oath. Furthermore, after being tricked, would these prideful heavenly geniuses really say what had happened? That would only further embarrass them. What these geniuses feared most was having their Dao hearts influenced by some god's curse. Even if the god's curse was fake it would leave a seed of doubt that would affect their futures. It was precisely due to this that the disciples felt great hatred for Pill Valley. They would rather give Long Chen information about the trial regions for free just to vent. After a few days of work, everywhere Long Chen had gone was in ruins. The disciples around to see it all felt very refreshed. Some of those disciples even followed Long Chen to see him destroy more trials. It was a beautiful sight to them. In fact, some people even felt that just watching Long Chen fight was beneficial to their own cultivation. 
Quite a few people activated photographic jades to record the site. Long Chen obtained plentiful rewards. He had gained over 3,000 of the Earth Flame Spirit birthing beads, and over 200 Flame Divine items. He had also killed dozens of powerful Earth Flame Spirit beasts. Huo Long was benefiting immensely. It was growing stronger and more intelligent. As for Long Chen, he was quite generous. If people gave him information on the trial regions, he wouldn't mind giving away what he had found if it wasn't useful to Huo Long. At first, those people politely declined, as just watching Long Chen destroy these trial regions was satisfying. But then Long Chen just tossed those things to them. Those things were not cheap. If put on the market, they would be worth quite a bit of money. They were priceless treasures to flame attribute cultivators. Seeing Long Chen toss such things to them, those disciples were even more motivated to find the locations of the trial regions. Bastard. When news of what was happening within the Brahma secret realm reached Pill Valley's experts, they were infuriated. Elder Shyanki clenched his teeth so hard that they creaked. He could no longer act like a calm sage. Instead, it looked like flames were about to burst from his eyes. Long Chen was destroying the entire Brahma secret realm, and they couldn't stop him. There were dozens of elders nearby, looking nervously at Elder Shyanki. Perhaps we should alert the Divine Daughter probed one elder cautiously. Are you an idiot? The Divine Daughter is currently being blessed by the Divine Light within the Brahma Divine Palace. How could we disturb her right now? Cursed Elder Shyanki. That elder immediately shut his mouth, but inside, he cursed Elder Shyanki who had failed to capture Long Chen in the beginning. Now he was spreading his rage at them. Then what should we do? Demanded another elder. That elder's status was too high for Elder Shyanki to rage at him. He took a deep breath and said, Long Chen cannot be allowed to leave Pill Valley. Right now, he's being a miserable rat destroying as much as he can. He has also ruined the Valley Master's plans, and those who should have become loyal subordinates are now hostile. TCH, those thankless wretches, do they not know that we are the ones who gave them the chance to enter the Brahma secret realm? We let them enter for free. Elder Shyanki suddenly burst into curses. He had cursed more today than he had over most of his life. Well, there's nothing we can do about it right now. We can only wait for the Divine Daughter to come out of seclusion, or for some people to awaken their manifestations and challenge Long Chen. We can only wait. Elder Shyanki sighed helplessly. However, it's only a matter of time. The pillar of the Martial Heaven Alliance is Long Chen. As long as he dies. The Dragonblood Legion will become a headless dragon and fracture, with the Martial Heaven Alliance's morale plummeting. So no matter how much damage Long Chen causes, as long as we capture him in the end, we will still be the winners. Elder Chi Li, you're in charge of the Grand Formation. If there's the slightest mishap, you know the consequences. That Elder Chi Li smiled faintly and calmly said, Elder Shyanki, don't worry. I have 36 of my disciples keeping watch, as well as 160,000 disciples of the Flame Divine Palace guarding eight divine formations. It is not impossible for Long Chen to leave Pill Valley. Even the Valley Master himself wouldn't be able to leave without the tablets of every one of us. Things had been raised to their highest level of caution. The Grand Formation was fully activated. To go through the formation would require the tablets of 36 elders from Pill Valley and 72 elders from the Flame Divine Palace. Furthermore, eight checkpoints needed to be closed before the entire formation would be released. The Brahma Secret Realm only had one exit, and it didn't border any other world. Even breaking through space wouldn't work. Once the Brahma Secret Realm closed, everyone inside would be brought out. At that time, Long Chen would be caught. As long as you understand, remember, because the heaven-reaching ancient castles people have already left, people know that Long Chen has come here, we have to be able to stop an attack from the outside as well, there can be no mistakes this time, said Elder Shyanki, there was a sinister light in his eyes, perhaps he was considering just how to torture Long Chen once he was captured to release the rage in his heart, Long Chen spent seven days destroying the trial regions. On the seventh day, he encountered a terrifying earth flame spirit beast in an underground space. It was actually the Black Illusion Dragon Flame. Its power was astonishing, 
and Long Chen spent several hours fighting it before working together with Huo Long to draw it into the primal chaos space. It was unknown just how many years it had been alive. Despite how powerful Huo Long was, devouring it was very difficult. In the end, Huo Long had furiously swallowed it in one gulp and then entered a state of slumber. It was clearly focused on digesting its energy and would be unable to assist Long Chen for a short while. Adding on all the other flame beasts it had consumed, Huo Long was full. It couldn't eat anymore. During the time that Long Chen had been destroying the trial regions, the majority of experts had settled in. They vanished, finding their own places to enter seclusion. The Brahma secret realm was huge, and Long Chen couldn't just go around breaking trial regions. With Huo Long in seclusion, Long Chen decided to calm down. He looked in a certain direction and began rushing toward the center of the Brahma secret realm. Long Chen spent the better part of a day flying before he saw a set of divine pillars in the distance. Each pillar had an expert sitting on top of it. On those pillars, he saw Di Fang, Ziluo, and the like. It seemed that this place was specially arranged for awakening their manifestations. They were square pillars hundreds of meters tall, and the light of the Grand Dao bathed them. Di Feng and the others had formed a whirlpool of heavenly Dao energy above them, absorbing the energy. Long Chen also saw Zhang Shianba in the distance. He was in a meditative state, his manifestation active behind him as he communed with the heavenly Daos. There were only 108 of the pillars. However, they weren't all occupied by Pill Valley. In fact, they were mostly occupied by experts from other powers. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, don't go any further. There's a barrier head. If you go any further, you'll be killed. Someone in the distance suddenly shouted to Long Chen. Long Chen turned over, only to find that there were actually even more experts seated in the nearby areas. His attention had been focused on the divine pillars, but when he looked around, he saw tens of thousands of people. What's going on? Long Chen walked over to that person. Amongst these people, Long Chen saw many hostile gazes. It seemed that most of these people were loyal to Pill Valley. They hadn't wasted any time in the outer regions, instead charging over to this place. However, there were also some neutral experts that had ended up running into this place without any information. Ah, there's actually a formation guarding this place. No wonder I didn't notice them. When Long Chen walked over, he found that fluctuations were enveloping this place. There was a faint divine light present. It seemed that this area was also suited to comprehending the Grand Dao, but the effect was not as good as the Divine Pillars. The neutral disciple that had warned Long Chen ignored the other disciples' gazes. He said, we were conned. The so-called opportunities and chances were all left to their own people. Those who arrived at this place earliest were locked onto the Divine Light and have its power focused on them. As for others who arrived later, the Divine Light mostly ignores us. This was all a con, said that disciple hatefully. Yes, it was a trap. We almost fell for it, but thankfully you let us in without that oath, said another disciple. There were hundreds of experts who walked forward to Long Chen now to explain what had happened. These people had arrived late. Even though they were enveloped by the divine light, it didn't acknowledge them. The formation's grand Dao energy was given to those that had arrived first. The ones who had arrived first were Pill Valley's loyal supporters. They were receiving this special treatment. In other words, even for neutral experts that had decided to use the barrier-breaking beads and swear loyalty to Pill Valley, they wouldn't be getting as good of treatment as the original supporters. The true benefits weren't for them. That was why these disciples directly came to report what had happened to Long Chen. They longed for Long Chen to destroy this place as well. If they couldn't obtain any benefits, then no one should obtain anything either. Long Chen looked at the disciples seated within the divine light. Those disciples' expressions instantly changed. They began gathering energy, preparing for a fight. Long Chen indifferently said, Don't worry, the money you paid means I won't attack you. It's the same for them. Long Chen pointed to Di Feng and the others who were on the stone pillars. However, I should warn you that even if you manage to awaken your manifestation, you should think carefully about whether or not you really want to be my enemy. If you raise your weapon against me, that money will no longer protect you. Those experts' hearts shook. 
It seemed that Long Chen didn't care about them in the slightest. In fact, he didn't even care about Di Fang, Zi Luo, Shang Shianba, and the others. To the disciple that warned him, Long Chen said, Many thanks for your warning, but there's something I want inside, so I'm going in. Long Chen directly walked closer to the divine pillars. They looked to be arranged in a haphazard manner, but Long Chen's intuition told him that it was a gate. Seeing Long Chen enter, that disciple wanted to warn him to be careful. Some people had been drawn over to the divine pillars before, but they had been annihilated by the divine light without the slightest ability to resist. As expected, as soon as Long Chen got close, a ray of divine light descended from the sky, crashing down on Long Chen mercilessly. However, with a swing of evil moon, the light shattered. Long Chen was forced back a couple of steps. How ferocious the disciples watching were stunned by this sight. The world shook intensely as Long Chen shattered the divine light. Scintillating golden light gathered, and a majestic palace slowly revealed itself before their eyes. This palace was absolutely giant and soared high into the sky. Every brick and tile sparkled with divine light. Everyone stared in shock at it. Once the palace appeared, the position of the divine pillars also changed. They actually formed two orderly rows leading to the palace. As for the experts meditating atop the pillars, they were startled awake by this. They also stared in shock at the palace. So this is the Brahma secret realm's greatest inheritance land. What do those words mean? Why do they seem so powerful? Everyone stared in shock at the palace. Three golden words shone brightly on the palace. Those words caused their souls to shake. They were not immortal characters. No one recognized them. Brahma Divine Palace. However, while Long Chen didn't recognize them, these words came popping out of his mouth instinctively. Killing intent appeared in his eyes. Di Feng and the others who were on the stone pillars didn't dare to move. They were enveloped by overwhelming divine pressure from the palace. Long Chen walked forward toward the palace. As soon as he entered the range of the divine pillars, they all lit up at once, and 108 divine swords pierced toward Long Chen. The distant experts all jumped in horror. Despite their distance, they could sense the terrifying power of those divine swords. You broken Brahma shrine, I'm giving you face by deigning to enter, but you dare to stop me, for some reason. Long Chen's fury soared. With a cold snort, he charged forward, attacking those divine swords. Stop, stop, it hurts their entirely condensed of divine energy, shouted Evil Moon. But in Long Chen's fury, he didn't hear. His divine ring suddenly appeared behind him. The world shook intensely. The divine pressure coming from the palace was forced back as a domineering will expanded. You dare to stop me? Be destroyed. Long Chen actually forced his way in front of one of the divine pillars and attacked it. Bastard. Stop. The ancient race expert on top of it shouted. But his shout didn't stop Long Chen. Evil Moon slashed into the divine pillar. That giant pillar tumbled to the ground. As for the whirlpool above the ancient race expert's head, it vanished. The ancient race expert was furious. But the distant spectators smiled. When that whirlpool vanished. They sensed the surrounding Grand Dao energy grow denser. Clearly, without him absorbing it, they could absorb more. Due to the appearance of the Brahma Divine Palace, countless experts were drawn over. They saw a piercing light coming from here, and they flew quickly. Seeing Long Chen, one of those disciples excitedly shouted, Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen, you can do it. Destroy this place too. These disciples were now clear on Pill Valley's Khan and they were infuriated. The more trouble Long Chen caused, the happier they were. However, while they were happy, the experts on top of the divine pillars turned green. Long Chen was now charging toward another pillar. 